Hauser by Pat and the Long Lobos. Let's go with Hauser first. We got number one, Preston Thomas. Number six, AJ Hendricks. Number eight, Christian Martin. Number nine, Grayson Work. Number ten, Landon Tucker. Number twelve, Caden Aiken. Number thirteen, Kay Chapel. Number 16, Aiden Thomas. Number 22, Brody Slayton. Number 26, Jake Steele. And your manager, Luke Cheatham. Playing shortstop, we got number five, Sawyer Donnelly. In center field, number 11, Ethan Miller. In right field, number two, Blake Cox. Your DH tonight, number 19, Trenton Johnson. On first base, number 15, Ashton Dawson. On second base, number four, Connor Wright. On third base, number three, Laker McPherson. In left field, number 14, Jack Holliday. And on the mound, we got number seven, Landon Bowen. And we're catching number 17, Zane Holder. Your head coach is Chris Watley. Sisters Matt Watley, Brian Grusin, Logan Bailey, and Chase Howell. And now for your long view road. Give it to me one time. Long view. Number three, Leo Rodriguez. Number four, Bryson Denny. Number six, Hector Rodriguez. Number 11, Trent Keebaugh. Number 12, Brett Gordon. Number 22, Jacoby Granville. Number 25, Casey Stein. Ladies and gentlemen, your starting lineup, we got in center field number two, Taylor Tatum. Playing left field number seven, Ronald Rowling. And in shortstop tonight, number zero, Jordan Allen. Your catcher for tonight, number 13, Drew Fleury. Playing first base, number eight, Campbell Williams. Out in right field, number 14, Andrew Ducks. On second base, number one, Kiefer Doxy. Playing third base tonight, number 10, Beltranion Gates. Your DH for tonight, number nine, Jose Abrego. And on the mound, give it up for number five, Cole Lovey. Head coach Jim Golden, assistant Sam Tyler, and Jerron Shepard. And Christopher Gossage. All right, at this time, if everyone could please stand. As a Longview High School choir has come out today, they're going to honor America in the singing of our national anthem.
Well, Keaton, 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 <laughs> I don't have words to describe what we've got going on here tonight. Welcome to Longview Game Bay's presentation of regional quarterfinal playoff baseball. The Longview Lobos host game one versus rival and district winner Hallsville. Um, you can kind of see we got a crowd shot right now, Keaton. I have not seen this place. I, no one's ever seen this place looking like this. It feels like a football game. Yeah, it definitely feels like a Friday night football game. And I guarantee you, Longview, we have definitely set a record. So, man, you, you guys, your fans, if you're watching this, man, you're tuned into a good one. If I got chills and I'm excited, I can just only imagine how these players feel. Let's get ready to play some baseball. Absolutely. And uh, i got to say, before we get started, this one is brought to you by, presented by, Emily Ramey and Sig Ramey Insurance. We appreciate her support helping bring this playoff game to you. And I know she's watching. She can't be here. And that brings me to my next point, her little boy, Cole Ramey, hey. your starting pitcher tonight. Um, Keaton, he's got a tough task ahead of him. Absolutely. This team can hit. He's facing one of the top lefties in the state. But we said that exactly two weeks ago tonight, and he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the young man. Absolutely. So, Cole, we believe you can do this tonight, pound that strike zone, and let your bats Bring it home for you, young man. Absolutely. He pitched that game. Five great innings, getting us, only gave up two runs. Um, sure, he can definitely do it tonight, too, as well. So, Cole, man, if you're once you watch this, I know your mom's watching this, <laughs> but, man, we're cheering for you. We're right here. Yeah, you can literally cut the tension here with a knife, Keaton. Yes. I, I mean, there are people still following in. I, I put a number on it. I bet the, the attendance so far, we're, we probably cracked the 1,000 mark a oh, yeah. long time easy. ago, an hour easy. and a half ago. I mean, just driving by here at 430, it was already people standing outside waiting in line, and the, and the doors didn't open it's to like six. carnival, the low boat I mean, barbecue team's here. <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. Uh oh. We'll turn it over to PA guy. Hey, the Hallsville fans, they're quiet right now. They're not liking this. <laughs> and Cole Ramey comes into this one with 56 innings pitched, an ERA of 2.5, 55 strikeouts, win loss record 6 and 3, whip at 1.607. Hit a few too many batters this year, Keaton, but he's been a different pitcher the last few weeks. So here we go. First batter of the game. Sawyer Dunnigan playing shortstop tonight, hitting lefty for the Hallsville Bobcats. If you're watching from Hallsville, share the feed. Let everybody know where they can watch the playoff baseball. It isn't going to get crunk up in this place tonight. First pitch from Ramey is a breaking ball, just misses the outside corner. I think Drew Flores thought it looked good from here. Yeah, Drew does a good job of framing his pitches. Um, He's, he's he's a sophomore, but he's seen a lot of baseball. He's a, if you want to call him a pro back there at this level, he definitely is one. He's seen a lot of baseball. That ball's put in play right at Jordan Allen. Easy out. Jordan Jordan made quick work quick work of it. Quick, fast decision. The ball was hit fast at him. He didn't have to move much. Just had to oh, scrunch down a little bit to Absolutely. make that play for the first out. And that's a good thing. We've seen the last few weeks that Cole, for some reason, whether it be nerves or the moment, a little shaky the first inning with his command, but he's pounded two that look like strikes. Got a quick early out. And if he's got the curveball working tonight, he's going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bowden. First pitch curveball driven right at Allen. He's right there there the play. Hey, three pitches in, two outs. Right now, we out to a good start, but we got to finish this. We got to finish this in and I get this third out. Jordan Allen bringing the, bringing the, the leather today. <laughs> Three pitches, two batters up, two down. Brings up number two, the three-hole hitter, Blake Cox, playing right field for the Bobcats. And, and one thing Cole threw that pitch, it was a curveball there, too. So the hitters are looking for it. Fastball, middle, middle, strike one. There you go. Emily, I wish you could be here. I know you do, too. You're probably having some fun out there, out west on your uh, your work trip. But little man's got this for you tonight. We appreciate uh, your support, and I'm glad we can let you watch it on the road. Absolutely. A one pitch. A little breaking ball misses away. Counts even at one. I'm just waiting for the first thing to happen to blow the roof off this place, <laughs> Keaton. There's a fastball. That misses away. And Cox is ahead 2-0. Oh. So we're going to go ahead and preemptively apologize. There are going to be a few times tonight where you just can't hear us. There's yeah. that many people here, and we got to have a mic on the crowd. So get ready for that. But we'll do the best we can. 2-0 pitch. 
That's a curveball served into right field. It's going to fall in front of Tut for a hit. And the Bobcats have their first runner aboard. Yeah, Blake Cox made him work a little bit. Uh, got a pitch that he can go opposite field, go over the, the, the second base of his head for an infield, I mean for, for a single base hit. That's going to bring up Trenton Johnson. He's the designated hitter tonight, hitting for the catcher holder. We can live with singles, Keaton. Oh, yes, sir. Just throw strikes and let your defense work. Limit any extra base runners. First pitch fastball misses in. Ump does not want to give the inside part of the plate early on here. I think Drew thought that may have been a strike as well. And that's mostly what we've been seeing a lot throughout the playoffs. The Umps is letting them work. I'm on them throw strikes. The tighter the zone is, the better it is for the Lobos in a matchup like this. What's up? There he is. Boosie stepped by the booth. <laughs> Trying to get some face time, a little mic time. He's getting, he's getting his time across the street with Taylor over here. Oh, yeah, Runner goes. Drew's got him if he makes a good throw. He got he's him. out. There you yes, go. Yes, sir. Pitch a perfect start there for Longview. Drew Flores yes. throws the butter runner out, attempted to steal third base. I don't know why they keep doing it, Keaton, but I'm glad <laughs> they do. We'll head to the bottom of the first, tied at zero. You're watching Lobo Playoff Baseball live on Longview Game Day. And now at OR, we want to buy your used vehicle and we'll give you guaranteed top dollar for yours. And if you prefer to trade, even better. With massive savings on every new vehicle at OR Cadillac GMC in Longview. All right, welcome back. I'm trying to get your shot of the crowd right now, but all we got is this handsome coach. <laughs> Shep, we see you. He knows what a camera is. <laughs> and Andrew Tut's hair. There's some Campbell Williams action for you. So Taylor Tatum is going to lead this one off as usual for your Lobos. And Taylor comes into this one hitting 366 on the season with a 453 on base. He's driven in 19. He scored 30 and leads the team in steals with 22 stolen bases. But in the meantime, we're going to take a good look here at the opposing pitcher, Landon Bowden. Almost a shot-for-shot -shot remake of the lefty we faced two weeks ago. A little bit shorter, but... Lefty committed, hard committed to play baseball and pits for Houston. He's a senior, sits in the 90 to 92 range, good curveball. We've seen him a few times. So. Yeah, yeah we, we've been seeing him for years. He's, he is as advertised. He's a stud, uh, one of the best pitchers in East Texas. Uh, man, he's been pitching great for Hallsville for a long time. Um, it's good for us that this is his senior year, but hey, they, they got him on the mound for a reason right right now. They looking to try to take control of this of this first run, this first game. Absolutely, this one's important. Yep. And in case you're wondering and don't know, we don't play tomorrow. We're gonna have graduation. Saturday we're gonna turn around and play at noon in Hallsville. And if we need a second game, it'll be right after that. Hopefully we won't. <laughs> and the Lobos seem to be up to ta up to the task lately against these. Uh, Elite, high-level opposing starting pitchers. So yeah. let's see if, if if things go that way tonight. Yeah, you're looking at a hidden team, the Lobos. That's batting, that's batting with a lot of confidence. These boys is hitting from top to bottom. Absolutely, not I mean, an easy out in the lineup right no, now. No, not not at all. They're hitting they're hitting good with two outs and everything. So they're they, they've been playing great right now. So in steps Taylor Tatum to square off against the lefty Landon Bowden to lead us off here in the bottom of the first inning. If you're watching, share the feed. Let everybody know we got some big time playoff baseball here in Longview tonight. First pitch from Bowden to Tatum. Fastball catches the bottom part of the plate. Strike one. Looked like Taylor was, he was kind of taking. It looked like he was sitting on that on that yacker. Mm -hmm. We've seen what he's done to those the last couple weeks. 0-1 pitch. Curve ball. It took a good rip at it. 0-2 quickly. Got a foul tip there. It was just a little early. Coming off that fast ball from their first pitch, of course, that's what it's going. Keith, I don't think I'm going to sit down once tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both. 0-2 pitch to Taylor Tatum. Fastball misses high. It's 1-2. and two. Keith, I don't think we can put into words how, how big this is for Lombie. We haven't been this far in 70 years. No one in the ballpark can remember that. Um, massive for the low bills. Fastball 
Swung on a miss, but it gets away from the catcher. Tatum's off and running. It's going to be a tough play, and he's safe. And he's on there. Hey, any way we can get him on base, we'll That's take right. it. Rather be lucky than good. Ain't that what they yeah, say, Keaton? Yep, yep. So Taylor Tatum strikes out on the check swing. Ball gets past the catcher, Holder, and Tatum speed. We got a base runner to lead things off, and Ronald Wood steps in. Ronald Wood steps into this one with a 387 on base percentage. Scored 34 runs, and as you know, hit his first career home run two weeks ago to give the Lobos the winning run in uh, the by district playoff round. First pitch from Bowden to Woods. He shows bunt, gets it down. It's a good one. Woods, Bowden thinks about second, goes to first, and gets the easy out. Ronald Woods does his job and advances Taylor Tatum. So Lobos have a runner in scoring position with one down here in the bottom of the first. Excellent bunt there uh, by Ronald Woods, advancing, advancing uh, Taylor into scoring position. Excellent execution there, oh, Keith. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's perfect. So Jordan Allen's going to step in with a chance to drive in a run here early for the Lobos. Taylor Tatum on second with that kind of speed. Just about anything past the infield is going to score. First pitch to Jordan Allen from Bowden. Breaker. In the dirt, almost hits him in the foot, but stays in the box. Good job by the catcher there, keeping that from getting behind him. And uh, Jordan Allen's ahead 1-0. Yeah, good job good job there by Jordan by checking that. As that ball was pitched in the dirt, you yeah. definitely didn't want to go for that. You're in Longview. you still got time to get here. we got two gates open. Um, I don't remember what it's costing to get in, but it's worth every penny. Another curve ball swung on a miss. Jordan swings over the top of it, 1-1. One one. Jordan comes into this one. Batting 406 and leading the team in doubles. He's been he's been stroking a lot lately. Been hitting well for us at the right time. One one curveball drops in there for a strike, and Allen is behind one and two. Curious to see what the pitcher is going to give him right now. Probably something low. Yeah, he laid off of two. Wanted to swing at those two of those breaking balls in the dirt. So I think he's got a waste pitch here on one and two. And Jordan Allen calls time. Good for Jordan to get himself regrouped and get himself back going. Absolutely. Knowing he has to battle right now with this one and two count. Jordan's reaching base at a 459 clip this season. Only struck out 16 times the whole year, Keaton. Almost as many walks as strikeouts. So he's got a pretty good eye at the plate. Doesn't Taylor Tatum off the bag. They throw behind him and they pick him off. So out number two happens on the base pass for the Lobos. And as we spoke about a few weeks ago, those are mistakes that a team like the Lobos cannot make, especially early on in the game if they want to knock off a top contender like Hallsville. But what's happened has happened. Let's keep fighting. That's what we do, Lobos. Right. Right now we got two outs now. So Fastball swung on and fouled back. Jordan Allen stays alive. That was a freebie anyway, Keaton. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With Jordan Allen back for the one-two. Fastball misses high. And again, there's that eye by Jordan. He's not typically going to swing away at anything that's not in the zone or hittable. But that high fastball might be changing his eye line, setting him up for a curveball here. Two-two. Curveball swung on and missed. Strike three. And we are headed to the top of the second, tied at zero. You are watching Longview Lobo uh, Playoff Baseball live on Longview Game Day. House party? We got you covered. Office meeting? Come on, treat them right. Game day? You know we're here for it. Get your taco, nacho, or fajita bar today. Only at Juicy's Taco. Don't fumble when you're looking for your next trailer. At RJ Trailers, we got the hookup. Cargo mate. Hallmark. Text line, Diamond C. We've got the inventory selection to get you into the end zone. Step into savings with RJ Trailers. Don't pass up on the best deals around. RJ Trailers in Longview and online at rjtrailers.com. We've got the hookup. We are back for the top of the second. Just a reminder, this one's brought to you by Emily Ramey and Sig Ramey Insurance. If you need any help, any insurance needs, life, home, auto, commercial, boat, 
give Emily a call. Her number's on the screen. If not, a quick Google search will get you there. All right, sorry about that. Oh, no. Oh, hang on. That's just, nah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Sorry about that. Somebody, a fan picked up some more equipment and moved it. <laughs> We're good. All right, back for the top of the second. Let me change that right quick. And, again, Cole Ramey is out for your Lobos. Your starting pitcher got out of the first inning with no damage done and on nine pitches, Keaton. Yep, Frank, that, that, uh, that first inning felt like the round one of a fight. We just feel our process. No, no harm, no foul. Nobody got hurt. So yeah, absolutely. We got we through are. the top of the order. Mm -hmm. No damage on nine pitches. That's a win 100 times out of 100. Absolutely. Now, I expect the second inning to see a little bit more action here. See see what type Let's of see. uh see what type of right. energy see what type of energy Hallsville come out with and see can can we match it. I told uh, Drew Flores, I'm sorry, Gabe Flores, if he ever comes home for a home game, we're gonna give him a headset. So <laughs> he's gonna pop on with us for a couple innings. Okay, in a minute. okay, okay. Got to give me some time to get it set up. Oh, yeah, my man back from – he's back home from Houston. <laughs> His teammates on the mound. Oh, yeah. He's torn a little bit. Yeah. I, I know he had shoulder, shoulder surgery, so he, he wishes he was out there, especially out there with his little brother. All righty. So the first man up for the Bobcats is going to be Ashton Garza playing first base tonight. Scratch that. Oh, I got the number wrong. Trenton Johnson, that's right. We had a stolen base attempt. So Trenton Johnson comes back to the plate. He was at bat when the Lobos threw a runner out at second. First pitch from Ramey. Fastball misses in. Yep, so Trent Johnson gets a redo again. So 0-0. Zero, zero. First, that first ball was a ball on the inside. So 1-0 count now. Ramey set for the 1-0. Curve ball misses the top of the zone. 2-0. From my view, it's kind of hard to see what we missed there, but hey, we biased. No, no mistakes about it. We That's Lobo right. fans. If the umpires go back and rewatch these. We're not. Uh, this isn't criticism. We just <laughs> we expect every call to go the Lobo's way. Oh, yeah. Two-zero pitch, fastball that misses away. Three-zero here early to the cleanup man, number nineteen, Trenton Johnson. Curious to see if he has the green light on the 3-0 count. He's the DH, but he's in that cleanup spot. So something tells me he's a pretty good hitter. Rio pitch from Ramey. Takes for a strike. Looks like a little two-seam action on that fastball. Took something off of it. Yeah, he's Had some late action. Way. He's taking all the way. Looks like it was a spot that he could have took advantage of. So Ramey, 3-1 pitch. That ball's driven into the left center field gap. Tatum's over. Easy play made by the Lobos. Elite fielding center fielder out there, Taylor Tatum. I mean, he got a great read on it. Showed My some goodness. great acceleration to, took a great angle to catch that ball now, at his right spot the there. Made Arkansas. it look easy. Yeah, there aren't many high school center fielders that when that's hit, you just know it's going to be converted into an out. Absolutely. Lobos have had the luxury of having two of them in a row. Was it DeKalen Taylor? Yeah, it was DeKalen Taylor last year. He's probably year. under that class. ball and stop yeah. before he catches that one. <laughs> That's true. You had a world class uh, 100 meter. That ball's put into play. Jordan Allen handles it at short. Easy out. And Jordan Allen, the glove is working tonight, and Ramey's working fast. He's working efficiently, and he's throwing strikes, more importantly. Now number four. Keaton, I need you to do me a favor. Our girls get, that just took the tub, if you could have them open it up, there's a bag with a Nike check on it. If you could bring that to me or I have one you. of them, I'd appreciate it. That's the you. only reason why. No, <laughs> I said, no, no, whoa, no, where I are you going? You. I appreciate you. it. No, oh. problem, no problem. Sorry about that on air, but uh, that's going to bring up Connor White, number four. Connor's playing second base tonight for the Bobcats. First pitch from Ramey to White, catches the inside part of the plate for a strike, and it is 0-1. That's what I meant, Adidas. I'm the sorry. Adidas. No, no. That pitch misses. It's one and one. Yes, yes. Oh, hold up. I'll give it back to him in between. The ball's put in play. Should be fairly easy from Doxy. Makes the play and makes the throw over. There we go. We good three up and three down. And Cole Ramey, very efficient early on, headed to the bottom of the second. Lobos. And Hallsville tied at zero. You're watching Lobo Baseball Live on Lomby Game Day. At Godarji and Young, we take things more seriously. 
Every case that's handled at our office is handled by a team. That work and dedication has caused our office to recover more record verdicts and settlements than any other law firm in Northeast Texas. It is our obligation to make sure our client has the financial backings and the manpower to be successful. We are exactly who we say we are. We're trial lawyers who've gotten results year in, year out. All right, we're back. And you're looking at a live look at the Lobo crowd. Um, six up, six down for the Lobos. Excellent start there uh, by us right now. Cole is pitching off to a good start. Um, defense is playing pretty good for us. Right now we got coming up the hit. It looks like we got Drew Flores, the catcher, your sophomore catcher. He's coming up to get his first at bat as he's getting a live look in right now at their starting pitcher, Landon Bouton. If you guys have been watching us for the start, man, we've been, for us to get some effort like this that we've been doing right now, it's great. It's great to start the game off like this with six up, six down. So something exciting that we can that we can take, take in going forward as, as we go the rest of the way. All right, we, uh, we promised you at least a third headset for the big one tonight, and we got it. Gabe Flores, former Lobo great, back in town tonight. Gabe, how are you? I'm doing great. Right on, asking. right on cue, right as your brother is getting ready to hit. How, how, to, how torn are you right now? You got a teammate up there pitching to him right now. Man, that's my boy, but it's no blood, so let's see what Drew does here. <laughs> First pitch from Bowden to Flores. Curveball, swung on a miss, strike one. So, being that Hallsville is close to us, no, no mistake about it, how many times did you guys seen each other growing up? Me and the pitcher? Not, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I mean, I, just, just in general, you know, you and the, the kids from Hallsville. Yeah. I mean, the kids at Hallsville, I mean, obviously, I played baseball with them since, since I could remember. Yeah, I mean, I played travel ball with the pitcher since I was nine years old, so. 0-1 oh, pitch to Flores. Fastball. Little up in the zone, and Drew swings through it for a strike. It's 0-2. I'm sorry. Yeah, Drew, you're going to confuse me here. That was, Drew's <laughs> bad. We're not used to both of you guys around. Not this year. <laughs> <laughs> we had that problem last year. A little adjustment. 0-2 pitch. That's on the inside part of the plate. Strike three called. One down for the Lobos here in the bottom of the second. So, Drew, how, how's the shoulder? It's getting better. It's getting better. I'm about two weeks out from the throwing program, so I should start – Doing some more throwing, you know, getting the, getting the back loose. What, do you, what, what, what is it about this group of kids that's, that's winning games that it feels like in the past they wouldn't have? You know what I mean? I mean, I wish I could tell you. I'll tell you, they shocked me more than anybody. <laughs> hey, it seems like they're getting it going at the right time. They're playing their best baseball right now at the right time of the year, and that was at the end of the season. Um, to come against a, a, a world-class pitcher a couple weeks ago to now facing Landon. I think their confidence is pretty high right now. I mean, it's just a gritty team. I mean, it doesn't matter what you throw at them. They're going to they're gonna find a way to win. They've always been this way, especially this group of guys. Oh, yeah. They're young, so they're going to figure it out. Campbell Williams at the plate. Coming into this one with a 347 on base. Scored 16, drove in 14, and takes that for a ball. So it's 2-1 and one now to Campbell Williams playing first base tonight. Campbell has been crucial in this playoff run because he's been kind of a relief face. Every time the Lobos get in trouble, he comes in and just deals out of the bullpen. He's been your ideal closer for you. He'll pitch a couple of innings to get you, get, get you to win, keep the lead for you. Yeah, and he's starting to become a little more confident at the plate. Those long levers, he's starting to get a little more control over them. Oh, yeah. And it's 3-1. and one. It's a hitter's count right now. Bowden to Campbell Williams. That ball is ripped at. Foul straight back, full count. Just a little under. He's mad at himself. He wishes he, he knows he knows he got the pitch he wanted there. So Drew 3-2, what are you looking for here against a kid like this? It's got a couple plus pitches. Are you looking fastball I'm, and uh, and playing off of that? I'm sitting fastball, but curveball. He's always gonna do that. So. Yeah. <laughs> when you're sitting fastball and he throws yeah. that, there's not a whole lot you can do. Uh, yeah, you don't want to get three. You want to get beat with that fastball with two strikes. Yeah. And he knows it too, so he he he's going to his secondary pitch. Yeah. Andrew, Andrew Tut's going to step into the plate. Andrew's playing right field tonight. He's been on a little run here last couple weeks in the playoffs. Been playing some great defense, throwing some couple runners out, saves us some runs. First pitch curveball, swung on a miss. So I was talking to Drew, Andrew's uncle, before the game, and his grandfather played third base for the Lobo team that went to the state championship. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
So we got a little history that, that's, that's repeating right. itself. Fastball catches the inside part of the plate. It feels like we're not getting that call early, but as no. long as it starts to go back both ways, we're fine with that. Oh, yeah. One thing that Landon does, he's, he, he recognizes where that strike zone is, and he's going to paint that corner. Bowden ahead 0-2 on touch. Fastball, tip, run. There we go. Catcher makes the play to first base, and we're headed to the top of the third just like that. Quick inning for Landon Bowden. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching Lobo Playoff Baseball live on Longview Game Day. Over the last 10 years, our office has achieved many record verdicts and settlements. Our commitment has always been to outwork and outfight any opponent we have in whatever courtroom we find ourselves in. At Godard's Yen Young, we have settlements and verdicts that are unmatched. Whether you come face to face with the corporation or the insurance company, they know that if they don't justly compensate our clients, they're going to have to face the Godard's Yen Young trial team in the court. All right, we're back. Got a good look at Cole Ramey. Cole's been working quickly and throwing strikes. And uh, that's all you can ask from your young starting pitcher in a spot like this. Seems to seems like tonight the nerves aren't there. He came out pounding the zone early. And, uh, you know, as fans, that's all we can hope for. Keep it going, Cole. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I know Mama's proud so far. Absolutely. I love to see love to see how how uh, how how Howlsville bounced back when he comes back to him the second time around, especially since he's throwing a curveball at him early now. Sure, and there's no other way to word this. We probably aren't going to score a whole lot of runs off of Landon Bowden tonight. That so if you correct. need your starting pitcher to get you back in that dugout and give you a chance to scrape a couple together and win a close one tonight. Man. We got the uh, the big the big kid from Porter for three, I believe, in seven innings. Yep. Um, we won that one four to, I don't know, can't remember now, maybe two. I don't know. Yeah, it was, it was tied up 2-2 two two when we ended we up scoring we, in the eighth. Yeah, I believe we got three off of him, mm -hmm. or maybe maybe two. Either way, point being, we did as well as we could against him and still only got two. So yeah. the, the thing about us, we need to make Landon work. Don't don't make it easy for him. Get three of them, three outs very quickly, or, or three strikes very quickly. Got to make him work. Got to drive his pitch count up. First pitch, third inning of Ramey. Misses inside to number three, Lakin. I think it's Lakin. Lakin McPherson playing third base tonight for the Bobcats. One-zero pitch. There's a fastball in there for a strike. Good pitch. One and one. I just have Keaton. Every stream we've done this year has been down to the wire. I got a feeling we're looking at, at another one tonight. Absolutely, especially the way that this is going. Um, great start for us here. 1-1 one, one fastball, putting the play straight to Trey Gates, makes the play, throw over the first, easy out. One down quickly here in the third inning. Trey, Trey did an excellent job by attacking that ball, playing that third base, that hot corner there. Uh, didn't give Jordan any room to make a play. Absolutely. Cole keeps this up. He's pitching tomorrow, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to bring up Jack Holiday, number 14. Hallsville's rocking the pinstripe pants as well. Hey, both teams look sweet in that pinstripe. You got to love you gotta love pinstripe anytime you see it. First pitch from Ramey to Holiday. Curveball in the zone, straight to Jordan Allen, makes the play, throws over to first to Campbell, and the runner beats it out. A little more speed than we anticipated from the runner there. Yep, Jordan had to rush it a little bit, and, and as a result, he was just a little bit off target. Campbell came off the bag there to make him to make him safe at, safe at first. Also has a runner for the nine-hole hitter, Landon Bowden, the starting pitcher. Now back number seven, Landon Bowden. We're one good pitch away from getting out of this little mini jam. Jordan made a good play on the ball throw. It was a little errant. Not sure if it had been in time either way. I believe that runner was booked it down the line a little quicker than we anticipated. So. First pitch from Ramey to Bowden is a fast ball that misses low and in for a ball, 1-0. That fast ball misses away. And quickly, Bowden is ahead 2-0 on Cole Ramey. Cole takes a little stroll around the mound. Flores looks over to Coach Goldman for the sign. 
Looks like he called for a fastball away. Let's see what we get here. I incorrectly read that finger. That meant a throw over. <laughs> Back in plenty of time. Two-0 pitch from Ramey to Bowden. Hammered into right field. It's going to fall to Tut. Runners making the, run, the turn for third. Good throw. He got him. He knows him. Oh, my goodness. Hey, we just talked about that, how Tut has been playing great. Tut, he ran that ball and threw it, he threw it straight to third base, straight on the rope to Trey Gaze, and he was able to tag that runner out as – Hallsville with some aggressive base running. Just a little too aggressive there and got and got out. So two outs, run on second. Unbelievable play by Andrew Tuck there. Wow, I'm, I'm almost speechless. I didn't think there was any way he was no, getting him. I didn't either. I mean, and man, I'm drawing a blank on the name on the runner, Jack Holiday. Man, a lot of was, speed from Holiday. He was definitely moving. And man, he just got he, was, yeah, he just got a got good break there. on the ball, knew what he was doing. Yes. And Tut with a big throw from right field. So there's two down. Runner in score position for the top of the order. Saw your Dunnigan put the first pitch he saw in pay, play right at Jordan Allen his first time up. Let's see if we can get him swinging here early and get out of this inning. Fastball from Ramey to begin the at bat misses away. 1-0. Big play, back in plenty of time. That was timed out there, but like Bowden, who's ever the pinch runner is for Bowden, uh, K, K uh, Chapel, he was able to get back on time. So Ramey's going to come set again for the 1-0 pitch. To Sawyer Dunnigan, runner in scoring position, two down. Curve ball, fouled back into the net, one and one. And again, we've said it a few times, but if you're watching, share this feed, tag everybody you know, let them know that you got nothing else going on on a Thursday night, Keith. <laughs> I know you don't. Oh, yeah. I know for for fact Major League Baseball's done for the night. I know only one thing that other people can be doing right now, but that game doesn't matter. That's the seven game series. We That's got right. baseball going on right now. Fastball for Remy misses in. No, that's not important, Keith. No one's watching that. <laughs> so, Ramey behind 2-1 and one to the leadoff man. Sawyer Dunnigan, Landon Bowden, nine-hole hitter, awaits on second base in score position. Time called by the batter. Ramey throws it up to Flores anyway. Looked like a strike from here, but there was no batter nor umpire. So, yep. we're going to redo the 2-1 the here in just a second. Cole looks a little frustrated by the late time given by the ump there, but see if he can't regroup and throw a strike here. Two and one. Yeah, he, was, he was already in, in his motion. Another pick play. Back in plenty of time. They're not trying to throw him out there, Keaton. It's just to kind of keep him honest, keep him close. Don't want, to lead, don't want him to lead off too, too, sure, too, sure. too with this With the arms you have in the outfield, mm -hmm. the, the, the better shot you got at throwing a guy out, Closer he is to the bag and the worse jump he gets. So, 2 1 pitch on its way. Swung on and popped up. It's going to be out of play. Let's see if Gates can get over there. Woods, no play. 2 2. Big pitch coming here for Ramey, it feels like. And the crowd is just, it's eerily quiet. It feels like they're ready to erupt about something. I mean, it is. Damn packs, standing room only here. <laughs> I mean, this is this and is the incredible. Lobo students are still coming in. Yeah, this is incredible. Two two call. pitch now from Ramey. Two outs, runner on scoring and on second base in scoring position. Curve ball. I'm sorry, fastball. Let's that slip out of his hand a little late. That misses full count.
We're probably going to lay out audio-wise a little bit more tonight than we normally do for you. Let you guys hear what's going on. You don't need to hear us. <laughs> Full count pitch from Ramby to Dunnigan. Swung on and flown to left field. Ronald Woods is going to have to make a move on it, and he's there. Great, great job by the Ronald Great Woods. job by Cole Ramey to pitch his way out of that jam, and we are going to head to the bottom of the third inning. We are still all tied up here. You are watching quarterfinal, regional quarterfinal playoff baseball live on Army Game Day. Don't fumble when you're looking for your next trailer. At RJ Trailers, we got the hookup. Cargo mate. Hallmark. Text line. Diamond C. We've got the inventory selection to get you into the end zone. Snap into savings with RJ Trailers. Don't pass up on the best deals around. RJ Trailers in Longview and online at rjtrailers.com. We've got the hookup. All righty, welcome back. I got to kill the crowd, Mike. PA guys got this. It sounds like a club in here. Yeah, we, are, we have not licensed this music, Keith. <laughs> it's going to turn into a party in here real quick. Man. He, <laughs> turn he into. Knows, it already he is. Knows, <laughs> he knows what he's doing, man. He, he's, a, he, he's a pro at this. Again, I keep reminding you guys, share the feed. Look, we got our, our crowd cam. We got the crowd <laughs> and the soccer stands I mean, watching. It. They are everywhere right now. They're everywhere. This is this is unbelievable to see the, to see how this outcome. And it's been this has been talked about heavily since Saturday at the Longview clinch that win, that comeback win. Absolutely, and it, it doesn't hurt that these two teams are our bitter rivals. What are the eight miles of down the road to Hallville down eighty? So, um, the, I mean, I don't you know this is. Probably not appropriate. Yeah, I don't care. If if, if if you if tonight's the night if you want to go into crime spree in Hallsville. Hey, somebody <laughs> ain't a soul that there radio, tonight. <laughs> that radio guy said the same thing. Better lock your like, houses up. Perfect time. To the whole city's here. here. So Kiefer Docks is going to lead us off here in the bottom of the third, and Landon Bowden starts him off with a fastball that catches the outside part of the plate. It is 0 and 1 quickly to Doxy. and Bowden's gotten into a little bit of a groove here this last couple half innings, just throwing strikes. Yeah. There's a good fastball swung on and fouled out of play. Keeper Doxy is down 0-2 quickly. And if you see a pitcher is working like this and working this fast, timeouts, everything that you can do, um, seeing more pitches, do whatever you can to throw him off will help. You don't want to see him get into this groove. I'm afraid this curveball is coming, and Keeper hasn't seen it yet tonight. 0-2 fastball way up in the zone. Misses it. The last time we saw an 0-2 fastball, Keaton, he set the eye line and followed it up with a curve. So. Mm -hmm. Let's see if Kiefer's ready. Here comes some of that student section. One-two pitch to Kiefer Doxy. Curve ball. That stays high. Two and two. It's good out there by Kiefer. Absolutely. Kiefer's another tough, tough out. He's rocking a 377 on base percentage. Yeah, Kiefer's been solid. Two-year player uh, for us, sophomore right now. So he's seen a lot of baseball as well, too. Curve ball. Get down. Uh. Oh, right down the right field line. Just foul. And something that has been a huge key for the Lobos on this playoff run, Keaton, is the bottom of the order. Yeah. No tough, no easy outs. Everybody's scrapping to get on base and, and driving in runs. Um, that's the key to beating these pitchers is making them work at the bottom of the order. And that's been a reason for our success, why we've been able to stay into the, or advance to the third round of this playoff game. So that's been real good for us. Fastball swung on a miss. So keepers staying alive here, tough at bat. I know we talk about Andrew Tut set of hair all the time, but <laughs> I saw Kiefer, I got to give you some props when you watch this. You got to, you're, you're a, 1A on the team. Hey, from a ball man to a guy with a lot of hair, Keith, I'm a little yeah. jealous. Yeah, nice patch of lettuce up there. <laughs> that ball's driven into right center field. It's weakly hit. Going to be a tough play. It is down. It's down. Doxy makes the move. He's headed to second. A great hustle double there by Keith. And Kiefer. he's in there easily. Watch the Lead off a little double. bit. Lead off double for Kiefer Doxy. Hey, one thing, one thing that Kiefer did, he made, he made Bowden work a lot. And that worked in his favor. So Absolutely. Saw a lot of pitches yeah. there. Got something he can hit. And again, the bottom of the order. Tough at bats. 
So Kiefer goes to collect his helmet that flew off of that big fluffy head of hair as he made that turn to head to second base. Lobos, another runner in scoring position with nobody down. Here we go in the top of the, sorry, the bottom of the third. That's going to bring up Trey to Travian Gates. And to Travian, the 384 on base. So the bottom of the order, the 7 8 hitters averaging 375 on base percentage. That's what makes this Lobo team a tough out, and it's kind of shocking some people. Oh, yeah. Landon Bowden's first pitch to Gates. Looking to drive in the first run of the game. <laughs> Here's the first. <laughs> we got first a lot of extra going on the game. <laughs> Curve ball swung on and missed. A good job blocking the ball there by the catcher. Holder. 0 1 to Gates. Jose Ariano waits on deck. He lays off of that one. That's a good sign. It's good Looked idea. good, broke out of the zone. Gates is able to lay off of it. And even the count at one. It's good out of there by Gates there. Ball was low. And it was all speed pitch. So a little bit easier, easier to read that. Bowden comes set with a 1-1 one -one to Gates. Fastball, it's put into play. Bowden's only got one play, and that's the first base, but Doxy is going to advance to third. And the Lobos have a runner at third base with one down. Excellent. Excellent and Jose Ariano does a really good job at putting the ball in play. If he can do that here, the Lobos might just score a run. If he can find his way on base, Taylor Tatum waits. Hey, I'd love to, love to see that. D love to see us come away here, especially right. with a run on third base with one out to be able to come out with a run here. Jose's entire objective here is to put this ball in play. Yes. First pitch from Bowden to Ariano is going to be delayed. Timeout called. Change the outs here. And love to see, love to see, um, but love to see Landon Bowden work here a little bit. Absolutely. Put a little pressure on yeah. him. Like he's, like we talk about a lot. He's still a kid. First pitch from Ariano. Two Ariano is a fastball. Bottom of the zone swung on and missed 0 and 1. Fastball, there it is, popped up in the right field. Will Kiefer Doxy tag is the question. It's really shallow. Coach is not going to send him. He bluffs him, but it's a little too shallow for Kiefer to tag. Yeah, I wanted to kind of see what type of arm he had, and he put it he put it on the left side of that home plate yeah, to think, make it harder. I think Kiefer might have been out there if he'd attempted to uh, he'd have sent him there. Yep, I have to agree with you on that one. And that brings up Taylor Tatum. Taylor reached first on a swing and strikeout that got past the catcher his first time up. And he's got a chance to give the Lobos an early lead if he can, if he can collect a single here. First pitch from Bowden to Tatum. Fastball misses low. Yep, Taylor's his second time And we talked about his first up. time up, how, how much damage he's done on the breaking stuff here on this playoff run. And I wonder if Bowden knows that or if the coach staff at Hallsville has any idea. I guarantee you Hallsville has been tapped into our streams and been watching them. A few of them, sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they was even out here last week, had some, had some scouts out here watching. That's right. So the 1-0 pitch is one of those curve balls, catches the bottom part of the plate. Bowden evens the count at one. Again, two down, a runner on third base for Taylor Tatum. Cole Ramey's held Hallsville scoreless through three. Let's see if the Lobos can get him a run here. 1-1 pitch to Taylor Tatum. Fastball up in the zone, swung on and missed, strike two. We saw Taylor Saturday uh, strike out his first two at-bats and, and come out and hammered his third time up. So, Yeah, he's a guy that doesn't lack confidence. And if you get him one time, chances are uh, repeating that is not, it's not Fastball great. Fastball misses 2-2. Two -two. Sorry, Keaton. No, we're good. I was hoping I wasn't speaking, 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 uh, jinxing him on that. Two two to Taylor Tatum from Landon Bowden. He takes a deep breath, comes set. 
Putting the play up the middle. It's going to take a, a good throw to get Taylor Tatum. He got him. Nice play by the shortstop. We're going to head to the top of the fourth. This one is till, still knotted up at zero. You are watching Low Bow Playoff Baseball live on the Game Day. And now at OR, we want to buy your used vehicle and we'll give you guaranteed top dollar for yours. And if you prefer to trade, even better, with massive savings on every new vehicle at OR Cadillac GMC in Longview. Alrighty, welcome back. Miss Ramey, if you're watching, there's a sign in the stand that says, I love cold number five. <laughs> <laughs> How awesome is that? Yes, this yes. is a packed house, man, and there's still folks coming in. Oh, yeah. I mean, a line to get into this place. I mean, you got the student sections all around us. They're, they're, <laughs> they're jam-packed right waiting to scream with excitement. Uh, Cole's dad, man, is loving the effort that, that, is, that he's seeing from his son right now. Um, he was he definitely didn't want them to get off to a slow start. And I'm sure mom is echoing that sentiments right now too. So um, Cole right now only has 31 pitches right now through three innings. So right now that looks great for us. Speak of that, one more reminder. This was brought to you by Emily Ramey at Sig Ramey Insurance. Uh, we appreciate your help getting this on air. I'm sure all Lobo fans do as well. Thank you again, Miss Emily Ramey. And uh, your son Cole. He's kind of dealing tonight, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the better pitchers in the state. And Keaton, I saw Cole last night at the banquet for the first time not wearing his baseball uniform. That is a big kid, big man. Kid. I didn't realize he's a sophomore. He was there. I'm telling you, by the time in two years' time, if we're doing this, we're looking at a we might be looking at a six foot five monster right handed starting pitcher. Man, I, I did not believe He's already he got the all, command, yeah. the feel for pitching, but as the size and those muscles start to develop, we might have a monster on our hands here. Absolutely. He we don't. The opposing teams will. I'm sorry. He had his game face on. He wasn't, he, he was a man of few words at that time. So. Oh, yeah. Good looking kid. Game one starter. He was, he was, he was locked in last night. Mm hmm. So Ethan Miller, the center fielder, he lined out to Jordan Allen his first time up. He's going to lead us off here in the top of the fourth inning. Shows bunt, gets it down. Trey Gates is a good move on it. Makes the play and throws him out. Trey Gates, the Lobos brought the leather tonight, Keaton. Hey, yes, sir. Hey, Trey, Trey played, played that ball as fast as he could. Was able to whip it out to the first base very quickly to get our first out. Nice job, Trey. Ethan Miller was definitely moving. You see why he's the center fielder. Blake Cox, the right fielder, he singled uh, and was caught stealing to end the first inning. So Blake's going to step in here and sees Ramey for the second time with one quick out, one pitch, one out. Fastball from Ramey misses away. Like a little floater there, hanger, but he gets away with it. That ball's fouled straight back. It's one and one. Cole's got the breaking ball working tonight, Keaton. That's oh, yeah. a good thing. Oh, yeah, he's dealing right now. Want to see that continues here. The way yeah. that he's going, he can go. He's facing the two, three, four yeah. guys here. One, one pitch to Cox from Ramey. Hit him directly in the middle of the two. So runner on. And of all the things for Cole Ramey this year, the hit by pitch has been the biggest issue. That is hit by pitch number 16 for Cole in 56 innings pitched. Uh, when you throw a lot of curve balls, you're naturally just going to release a couple. Yeah, you just lose command. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, just yeah. lose command a little bit. And, and the good thing about it is it's, it's not intentional. Absolutely. Not going to hurt anybody with that. I mean, get the right umpire, they'll call that a strike. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've seen a few. <laughs> yeah, he's out. Runner on first with one down. Those of you watching know exactly what I'm talking about, and I know Trey Gates does. Oh, man. Curveball from Ramey misses low, 1-0. Last week was crazy. Got a 
couple of football yeah, guys absolutely. walking in behind us. The ball's hit well into center field. Taylor Tatum is back, though. Looks like he's got a bead on it. Easy play for the All-American center fielder out there. Two down. All right, so Cole Ramey is again at one pitch away from getting out of another half inning unscathed. That's number 15 steps into the box. Ashton Garza. Ashton lined out his first time up. I believe that was right at Jordan Allen as well. Yep. I think Jordan put out four of the first six outs for the Lobos. He was he, he was on a roll early as the ball was hit to him and he did, he was not looking phased. First pitch fastball. He pulls that, yanks it out of the zone. Ball one. One thing that Cole does not have early on tonight is that fastball command, but as long as he's pumping that curveball in there for a strike, it doesn't look like it's going to hurt him too much yet. But once he does start to lock in with the fastball command, he's going to be dangerous tonight. Absolutely, absolutely right there. 1 0 pitch. Fastball, a little two seam action. That misses away, 2 0. If we throw over here, he's getting a big lead over there. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. Something to keep him honest there. He's back in plenty of time. Lead wasn't that big. Here comes the Lobo secondary. All right, the student section showed up, Keaton. Yeah, they, they definitely showed up in full force. So 2 0 pitch from Ramey to Garza. Runners off. He was going to be out by a mile, Keaton, as that fastball's fouled straight back. Yeah, I've had a hit and run action call there. We'll take every out of the bases they'll give us, Keaton. Yes, indeed. You know what? Yes, indeed. So that ball was fouled back. It's now two and one from Ramey to guards. I keep having to look down. I keep forgetting who these kids are from Hallsville. <laughs> Pardon me if you're watching this from Hallsville. This is the first time I've seen the guys. We wanted to do a Hallsville game, but... The girls had a district title match. Curves a curveball that catches the inside part of the plate. That's pretty. That's pretty. Two two. It, it locked him in on that on that ball. He thought he he gave up on it, and that ball curved right back in. Yeah, he's got a good one. Here we go. Two two pitch from Ramey to Garza. Runner on first with a little speed. He's off and running. Ball's put into play perfectly in the gap as the second baseman was covering second. And we got runners on first and third now. Yep, he hit it right where the second baseman wasn't there. Um, he took off because the man was it. Uh, the base runner was, was was attempting to steal. Absolutely. And if you're Cole Ramey, if if you can hear me, I know you can't. Keep your head up. That was a good pitch. You got the outcome you wanted. Just extraordinarily bad luck that your second baseman that your second baseman was not there to make the play. He was covering the bag. Yep. And nothing to be ashamed about. That ball wasn't Absolutely. hard hit. It was just hitting the spot where your, where, your, where your defender wasn't at. Keaton, I can't hear what they're saying. As, as long as they don't talk about a Dodge truck, I'm fine. No, it sounds like a Jeep Cherokee. There are cars parked all over this road, and they've warned them several times they're going to get towed, but I guess they're going to learn the hard way tonight. But either way, back to what is infinitely more important. We have Connor White stepping into the batter's box in a big spot here. Runners in the corners, two down. Fastball catches the outside part of the plate, strike one. Something we've seen from Cole tonight that the first few playoff starts we didn't see is he's locked in. If something doesn't go his way, he is just locked in there, throwing strikes. And go get the next one, Cole. Yeah, he, he's unfazed. He it's has a great defense. as a pitcher, yeah. Yeah, he has a great defense playing behind him, too. So let him play a little bit. There's an 0-1 fastball for a strike. Runner takes off. Drew thinking about throwing down, but, but doesn't because they would have stole a run on us there. So... Runners on second and third now, but 0-2 count with two outs here. Yep, and that was, that's what Hallsville, that, that, that tactic was. They would, they wanted to get a throw yeah. out. Hallsville's a well-coached baseball mm -hmm. team. Very good baseball team. All right. Cole, let's bury this curveball right at his back foot. And Drew's going to block it for you. 0-2. Fastball up and away. Ball one. Good waste pitch there. I think everybody in the ballpark was anticipating the curveball there. Cole's pitch count is still very reasonable. One-two pitch. Curveball popped up. 
Trey it's going to be got foul room. territory. Let's see. Trey Trey's makes the play. And we're out of another jam, headed to the bottom of the fourth. You are watching Lobo Playoff Baseball live on Longview Game Day. At Godarzy and Young, we take things more seriously. Every case that's handled at our office is handled by a team. That work and dedication has caused our office to recover more record verdicts and settlements than any other law firm in Northeast Texas. It is our obligation to make sure our client has the financial backings and the manpower to be successful. We are exactly who we say we are. We're trial lawyers who've gotten results year in, year out. All righty, welcome back. Headed to the bottom of the fourth. Cole Ramey has held the Hallsville Bobcats scoreless through three innings, doing his job tonight. Now we got to see if these scrappy Lobos can find a way to score a run or two and uh, and steal one, for lack of a better way to word it. Keaton still went at home. We are prohibitive underdogs yeah, in a matchup like yeah. this. That's just the way it is. I mean, we, we played Hallsville twice this year, and by all means, it wasn't it wasn't close. So, no. But this is not the same team that you're playing right now that you saw a month or two down sure. the line. And this vice is a versa, different baseball this is a different yeah. Lobo Absolutely. team than, than, you, than Hallsville yeah. saw. We've progressed as oh, a yeah. team. Our, our hitters are, are becoming more scrappy. Our basketball players are further away from basketball yes. season. And our starting pitchers, they're, they're sophomores, Keaton. They're just, they're, they've gotten better. It's as simple as that. So Absolutely. Ronald Woods is going to lead us off, and Ronald Woods likes leading us off. He's an on-base machine. Man, that is that is Mr. Leadoff, in my opinion. Uh, that guy loves, he, he loves action, especially once he gets on the base. Mr. Pedro. He got him, one, he got him one a few weeks ago. He got him a homer a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Last couple weeks, he's been taking solid rips at it. So, first pitch from Bowden to Ronald Woods. Ronald sacrificed his first time up. Swings at a fastball. Fouled at the plate. 0-1. Yep, Ronald, he's playing left field, but we didn't have Taylor. He would easily be the center fielder. There's uh, been several games this year where we didn't have Taylor yeah. from track or, or – um, yeah, he didn't Football. disappoint. Yeah, uh, yeah. He, yeah. He's, he's, he's as good as any outfielder there is in the district. One of my favorite players. I, I make no mistakes about saying that. Oh, yeah. Ron's fun. Just a fun kid. Yes. He's down 0-1 here, though, to Bowden. That fastball gets away. Nowhere close enough to the zone to have Ronald Woods swing at it. One one pitch to Woods from Bowden. Curveball, good pitch. Ronald Wood swings over the top of it. One thing I've noticed from Bowden, he slowed down a little bit. Yeah. I don't know if that's something the Lobos have caused. He was working quickly those first few innings, but we put a little pressure on him here. One two to Ronald Woods. Fastball misses away. Two two. Yeah, once he kind of got himself in a little trouble a little bit, he had to he had to take a step and calm himself down a little bit. Didn't want to work himself too fast and give up a run. Curveball might have been a little cutter there. Either way, strike three, swinging. One down for the Lobos. And we talked about it in the New Caney Porter game, Keaton. This is what this is what a uh, a quality um, college baseball prospect looks like. Uh, absolutely, on make you. Your job is to make them throw a lot of pitches because you want to get them in and get them out. Any type of ace that you see. Ah, that's a that's a hit by a pitch, and I believe. Got a hit, yep. Jordan Allen's going to take the base the easy way. Easy to us because we're not taking a pitch to the ankle, but yeah. uh, we'll take it. Yeah, and I was just about to say, oh, man, Joy, you, you might want to kind of get hit there, but you don't want to get hit. On the ankle, it hurts. Yeah, Keaton. especially playing the shortstop. You're moving, you moving a lot. So going to bring up our catcher, Drew Flores. He swung out string, swinging his first time up. But what we've seen from Drew is as the game progresses and he sees the pitcher multiple times, he becomes a much more difficult out. Jordan Allen takes a big lead off of first base. Bowden checks him over. Comes set. Fastball misses inside. Flores is ahead 1-0. Catcher there. Everybody was, in the place thought he was going to give him that pitch. Didn't yeah, he? the catcher holder, he was holding. <laughs> Holding that call, just hoping, hoping he was going to change his mind. But the Blues said, I, I, not today, sir. That's a one ball. 
1-0 pitch to Flores. That's a breaking ball. It's down. Allen's taking off for second. And he got another hit by Pierce. Oh, he hit Drew. Yep. Okay. So two hit pit pitches in a row. Lobos are cooking. Runners on first and second here. As we got a pinch runner coming in. Absolutely. So two men on for the Lobos for Campbell Williams and Bowden's curveball. Just got so much spin on it. When it hits, it's kicking towards the batter's foot. So we've got two free base runners on back-to-back yep. -back pitches, basically. And that's kind of what you were saying on, at, the, at the top of the last inning. When Cole throws that curveball, sometimes you just lose control. And sometimes you just, sometimes when you, when you, when you throw it, you just, sometimes you just can't help where it goes. And we, we are the direct yeah, yeah. result of that. We this, got two uh, patterns. This feels so much like that new Caney Porter game. Yeah. Even, like you just, you can see the Lobo scratching at the surface. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to come through at some point. So Campbell Williams steps in. With a chance to drive in a run. A lot of speed on the bases. And that ball bounces in the dirt. Lobos yeah. thought about advancing. Good job by Holder to keep that from getting to the backstop. Keaton, you blew past the <laughs> blew past the over and under on hugs in the first inning. That is at least 17 hugs for Keaton Daniels tonight. Hey, when, when we when we get a big time game yeah, like this, yeah. there's gonna be a lot of people. I have to put a COVID mask on next time you do one of these. Hey, don't say that too loud. My, my wife's <laughs> one and oh. To, to, to uh, Campbell Williams, that's a fastball that catches the inside part of the plate, 2-0. Oh. Whoever that was has a big old plate of chili cheese nachos. Tell yeah. her to get away from me with that. <laughs> I'm going to turn the stream off and head down to the smokehouse. Hey, I'm about to go tell There's her to go get There's seriously a something. barbecue bit here if you guys oh, yes. want to come out and have dinner. Oh, yeah, this is a big-time game tonight, folks, and everybody is out for it. 1-1 one, one to Campbell, fastball. That catches the lower part of the plate. Doesn't like it. Might have been a bit below the knees. He is six foot six. I mean, if it was a if it was in a rail strike zone, he's about he's about five eight five nine. That's a strike. But Campbell is six four six five. That is a ball all day long. Again, umpires, when you watch this, that is the opinion of Keaton Daniels and Keaton Daniels alone. <laughs> and I stand beside it. <laughs> <laughs> one two pitch from Bowden to Campbell Williams. Curveball swung on and missed. Excellent pitch, man. And when you, that might have been in the zone, too. Yeah, and when you do that, when you call that strike low, of course, the pitcher, a smart pitcher like this, is going to keep going that down there that low. Sure. And, and, and he makes you go fishing for it. And yeah. as a result, you get a strike out there. And it changes the complexion of the entire bat. Oh, yeah. It looks a little low from here. You are right about that. But we're all human, Keaton. Hell yeah. So Andrew Tutt's going to step in. And Andrew Tut struck out swinging his first time up as well. So, second time seeing Bowden tonight. Let's see if Tut can put something in play here and see if we can't scratch a run home. Pickoff play to second. Almost gets past the second baseman. He fired that into the dirt. Jordan Allen was back in plenty of time, though. Oh, yeah. Jordan did not have a big lead. He, he knows what's going on here with two outs. He knows he's in scoring position. No need to, for him to get out there. Fastball catches the inside part of the plate. Andrew Tut doesn't love it, but it's strike one. Love to see Tut get a hit here. Um, Tut, kind of a flashback earlier, earlier, maybe about a couple of innings ago, threw a runner out um, from right field all the way at third base. So we'd love to see him get a hit here. Curveball. It's going to be a tough play. Tut has some speed. It gets oh, away. Gets it gets away. Gets away. Jordan Allen is going to score. Coach is holding up the pitch runner, and the Lobos score the first run of the game on an errant throw. Love to see him keep. Love to see him be aggressive and let him run home. Uh, but Coach thought he was going to be able to pick that ball up clean against the fence, even though he didn't. You got run, run in. You got runners on the corner with two outs. Uh, you got Kiefer, Kiefer coming up now. Oh my goodness, Keaton. Hey, we're this is the kind here. of pressure we talked about yes. putting on these kids. Yes. No matter how good you are, how talented you are, this is a situation you you simply cannot you cannot duplicate in practice. Oh, yeah. You just can't. Oh yeah. There and, are and the, three thousand people. Here. I mean, and with the energy, with it being electrifying in yeah. here tonight, I mean, definitely just, the, the way momentum can swing, it could definitely take a, 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 a ace of a pitcher for them out of the game easily. So the Lobos have struck first. And we're not done yet. Two outs, Kiefer Doxy, runners on the corner. First pitch from Bowden, he's checking the runner. Misses high, ball one. And it's nice if we could get 
young Mr. Bowden a little bit rattled here. Make him work. Make him yeah, Make work. him throw that fastball in the zone is what you want. That curveball has just got too much action on it to do a whole lot with. 1-0 pitch to Kiefer Doxy. Inside corner. Strike one. Kiefer doesn't love it. No, Kiefer did not like that. He's waking up, walking off, shaking his head at it, but... See, Cole's fastball is, is tailing away, mm -hmm. so it's missing the inside part of the plate. A lefty's two seamers coming back towards the inside part of the plate. That's why he's getting that call, and we're not, in case yep. you're wondering. 1-1 one, one pitch to Doxy. Pickoff play. Wasn't serious. He's back in plenty of time. The Lobos lead 1-0. to zero. Hey, uncharted territory for Hallsville Bobcats right now. Not being being down to us, but they're a tough and, baseball and, and team. They're we not said it give before up. the game started. Cole Ramsey's going toe to toe with Bowden. Mm -hmm. Doxy takes a fastball low. Catcher tried to frame it. Call, he calls that one low. Um, that's a pitch that he he got away with with Campbell Williams. Yeah, that's the same location. Same this location. kid's six inches shorter. <laughs> I know. So I'm Seven looking at you crazy, like wow. Hey, Kyle, that one a ball. Two one to Doxy. He's ahead here with a chance to drive in another with a single. Good rip at a curveball. Good off two two. Good off speed pitch there. Had Kiefer out in front. Kiefer just got to kind of sit back, sit on that, sit for the fastball now with the two Absolutely. and two count. And Trey Gates waits on deck, looking for his shot. He lined out his first time up, but first, Andrew Tut's going to steal second base <laughs> easily. Heads up, base running bird by Tut. Nobody was on base. And one thing, if you watch Landon, he has a slow. Slow, slow, slow set up and, and, and get off. So make it easy for him to take off and steal. All right, and so now we have two runners in scoring position. 2-2 two, two count on Kiefer Doxy. A base hit here likely scores two. Big pitch coming. Fastball. Missed high and tight. Catcher couldn't find it for just a moment. But the count is now full. Full count. Runner is more than likely could be running. They're already in scoring position. Two outs. Love to see you here yeah. what we get. Yeah, I don't think we can send him here because if he does walk him, they just literally walk into a to an out at home plate. I would love to see. I would think I would be seeing a fastball here. Full count pitch. Curve ball misses low. Running it back by Kiefer Doxy. And they are loaded for Trey Gates. And yes, he bat flipped on a walk and he deserved every <laughs> bit of it after that at bat. Hey, you talking about a kid that doesn't lack confidence at all. Oh I mean, no. You can just tell by by his by, by the hoodie hey, that he's wearing. Another <laughs> sophomore keep. Yeah. And coach. for the first time tonight, Coach is going to come out and talk to Landon Bowden. Yep, he's faced six six batters this at bat. In a little bit of trouble. Let's see how the big lefty can. Uh... Sorry about that. Let's see how the lefty can work his way out of this jam if he can. Trey Gates is coming to, pl to, the, to the plate in a massive spot here, Keaton. Yeah. Chance to really, really do some damage. Put a crooked number on the scoreboard here. And if you know Trey, Trey, Trey can definitely hit that ball. He can hit that baseball. Opposite both fields. He we can hit we both saw fields. him against the big lefty from Porter. He took that double down the right field line and drove in the. So even go if he's late, right. yeah, even if he's late, he has that power to keep it to so, keep it in field. So Trey Gates comes in here, bottom of the fourth, two outs, and a massive spot with the bases loaded. Yes, indeed. Here, love to see a great hit here. He did put the ball in play his first time up. Fastball up in the zone. He took a good rip at that. Hey, Trey was trying to get a grand slam and tear the roof off of this place. <laughs> yeah, I think all of our cables get unplugged if that happens. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'd be more worried about the students over here cheering and getting all excited. Trey Gates down to 0-1 here to Landon Bowden. Bases loaded, two down here in the bottom of the fourth. Fastball popped up. It's going to be a tough play for the first. No, it's not easy play. And that's it for the Lobos in the fourth. But they do scratch a run, and they lead one nothing. headed to the top of the fifth. We'll be back. You are watching Lobo Playoff Baseball Live on Longview Game Day. And now at OR, we want to buy your used vehicle and we'll give you guaranteed top dollar for yours. And if you prefer to trade, even better, with massive savings on every new vehicle at OR Cadillac GMC in Longview. Welcome back to the top of the fifth inning. Cole Ramey obviously back out. 
Lobos have only, Cole Ramey's only done 46 pitches through four innings. Absolutely dealing. Got a good look at the crowd here. Back too late from commercial in time to see him getting crunk in the crowd, but. I missed what he said at Hallsville. I believe he said 64. Okay, 64. Um, making making their pitch and landing Bowden throw that many pitches, uh, you definitely want to see him get to the 100 count because you don't want to see him pitching in on Saturday. You want to get him in and get him out uh, because he's their ace. He's been he's been a long time commit. I think he committed to TCU last year and kind of decommitted in before he signed with Houston. So he's been a Division One commitment for quite some time here. So you'd love to see him not come back. Absolutely. Before we get too deep into another half inning, another big shout out to Emily Ramey. We appreciate you helping us uh, get this UIL sanctioned playoff baseball game on air. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast, watching your little man, not so little anymore, <laughs> pitch his behind off in one of the biggest, if not the biggest baseball game in the history of the program. Yes, and to echo what Frank said, we thank you so much for allowing us to be able to bring this to you guys uh, that, are, that are streaming and watching this. And if you're streaming and watching this, Share it with your friends. We still got time. We got an excellent baseball game here. Yeah, and Lakin McPherson takes a swing at the first pitch from Ramey and comes up empty. It's 0-1 to the third baseman here for the Bobcats. Cole, you can just tell he's locked in, Keaton. Curveball easily into the zone. Look at him. He's feeling it right now. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> no feeling. doubt about that. Just front yes. door to curveball yes, on indeed. 0-1. He's set to come to the plate with the 0-2. Let's see if he throws the heater by him. Fastball just misses away. Just a little high there. Something to make him go fishing for a little bit, but he's, he was able to stay home and not go go after it. Got a curveball coming here, Keaton. Yes, sir. One, two. In the dirt. Good job by Flores to block that. Had a waste pitch. Now it's two and two. I would say probably another one is going to come at him. Fastball running back into the hands. Actually sets up away. There it is. Misses the outside part of the plate. The count's full. I'm calling pitches here. Keaton, I think I threw a curveball in the zone, and if this kid can hit it, let him hit it. Yeah. Definitely want to throw a strike. You don't want to put the first first base runner on, on first, or the first batter on first here. Fastball and he catches strikes. the outside corner. There we go. Strikes him out. <laughs> Fired up Cole Ramey. Yes, indeed. Excellent job there by Cole. Had to work a little bit, but hey, he struck out looking he's, for the first out. He's commanding that mound tonight like we haven't seen from him all year. Hey, if, if, if we know mom anyway, like I know, I bet you she is. Shouting right now. If she's in a hotel, she, they're probably loud, probably calling noise, complaining on her. Her baby just threw a strikeout, and he's rolling right now through five innings. Just give me a few. All right, that's going to bring up number 14, Jack Holiday. Sorry, Keaton, I'm making a joke to the constable behind me. I said, hey, if you're serving a warrant, just give me a few innings. <laughs> <laughs> it's too big. First pitch from Raymond. Hey, I'm going to have to fight him off myself. I, I'm not Jack letting you go tonight. It's 1 0. One down here in the fifth inning. Fastball misses away. 2-0 quickly here to the uh, number eight hole hitter, Jack Holiday. Jack, I believe, singled his first time up and tested Mr. Tut's arm out in right field and learned a hard lesson. Yep, your memory serves you correct. That was definitely him. It was a terrible decision. That ball is put into play. Foul. Two and one. But as a result of that, man, Jack Holiday, he's he's he's, he's fast. Got some wheels. He, yes, got, he, he got some wheels good. on him. Yep. That single, that single that he got, he was rolling down that baseline. I wasn't surprised to see him take off and try to run it. Two one pitch from, from Ramey. Looks like a fastball. Let's see if he can pump this in the zone. Catches the outside part of the plate. Strike two. There you go. Ramey is now one strike away from getting us to the nine hole hitter with two down here. In the fifth, this game is moving by quickly, Keaton. I, every time I say that, I need some wood to knock yeah, on. Yeah, I'm going to knock on something for you. 2-2 <laughs> two -two pitch from Ramey to Holiday. Curve ball. Ooh, <laughs> just misses the front door. Oh, man. Full count. Would have loved to see that. This place would have erupted. They called a strike on that. Another full count here. Cole's having pitch. to work these, with these first two batters. 
steps off. Full count pitch from Ramey to Holiday coming one down here in the fifth. Oh, he just misses. Cole wanted that one back. He's a potential threat, steal threat, so you definitely want to keep an eye out on for him. Got the pitcher coming up, so let's see what let's see what Landon can do. I don't I don't think he will he will bunt here. Um, but hey, stranger things can happen. I mean, you already got it out here. Um, th this guy, he can definitely he can definitely run at first. But hey, we got one of the best we got one of the best catchers in the district. And a lot of times for kids throw on them, as you saw earlier tonight, they 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 tend to lead, they they tend to leave the mound and going right back to the dugout. Absolutely. So Holiday, like you said, is a threat to steal, especially with the nine-hole hitter up. And one down. If you give it out away here on the bases, you're going to have the top of the order coming up here in the sixth. First things first, Ramey and Flores are going to talk about their attack here on the opposing pitcher, Landon Bowden. And again, one more time, if you're watching, share the feed. Let everybody know to be honest, Keith, there may not be any man left in Longview out there to watch. <laughs> they have for sure. They're all here. Yeah. But if you are, I mean, there, this share is, the feed and watch this thing. I mean, there's easily three, 4,000 people here right now watching this baseball game. Yes, I sent a video to a couple of folks an hour and a half before first pitch. There were people were, the gates were lined. Barbecue pit line was out the door. People were, they're still coming in. Yeah. First pitch swung on and popped up over our heads. All right, Frank, I'm going to stay oh, still. Oh, no. Whoa. <laughs> Watch your head back there. <laughs> that was a perfectly placed ball right, right in the stairwell. Either way, it's a foul ball and a strike. Again, this is Landon Bowden here. He's the opposing pitcher. You can start to kind of feel the tension in the air, Keaton. This is massive. Curveball misses away, one and one. Balls oh. ripped into right field. Got some wheels on, on first. He rounds second. He's headed to third. The coach is going to hold him up. Bowden is in there with a double. And now the Bobcats have runners on second and third base. The top of the order up and only one down here in the fifth. That was excellent hit, uh, shot there. Hard Absolutely. hit. Just a little bit outside the big six foot five Campbell Williams hands. And it can't be underestimated how important it was for Andrew Tutt to get to that ball, cut it off, and get it in before the runner could score. So we've got a chance to get out of the jam. Coach Goldman's going to come out and talk to his team. The top of the order's up. This is the biggest spot of the game by far here, Keaton. Absolutely. You're, you're definitely right here. Uh, Cole has been pitching a well of a game for us. Uh, he's, he's been able to get through four, four and a third inning. Uh, yeah, four and a third right now. Uh, when, when no runs on the board, it's giving up a few a few hits here. Um, you love to see him kind of hone in right now to be able to get us out unscathed here, as we are as we are on top right now, one zero. And that kind of just just goes to show you how deep this Hallsville lineup is, man. You can see how good a hitter Bowden is. He's in the nine hole tonight. So here we go, biggest moment of the game early on. Top of the fifth, one down, runners on second and third. Leadoff man, Sawyer Dunnigan hit the ball twice tonight, both times hard. Both times, one to Taylor Tatum and one to, uh, to Jordan Allen. So let's see if Cole Ramey can pitch his way out of this jam. The corners are in, but if it goes up the middle, they're willing to give up the run for the out. You can hear the Hallsville fans starting to chant a little bit. It's getting loud, intense in here, Keaton. Yes, indeed. First pitch from Ramey's a fastball that misses away. I wonder if Coach told him, hey, we this kid's hit the ball hard twice tonight. Let's don't hang anything or loop, miss anything inside. We got a base open. Yep, and he's their leadoff hitter, too. Yeah, so you how about an unintentional, intentional walk and, and, and let the two-hole hitter guy bat with a force at home? Let's see. 1-0 pitch from Ramey to Dunnigan is on its way. Curveball 
misses for a ball. 2 0. It's a little high on that side there. Um, this is here, this count here, 2 0. You can kind of lay off that pitch right now and, and sit for that fastball. You definitely don't want to get it in, in, in a favorable spot. Two-o pitch catches the bottom part of the zone. It is two and one. We'll take it there. Um, again, if you're a Hallsville fan, you might not like that call, but uh, I guess you can say that's a, 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 a gimme call. That that two one that two one pitch was a foul tip here. It brings the count to two and two. I didn't see that, Keaton. No, it was just a foul tip ball there, bringing the count to two and two. All right, two two. Cole Ramey to the leadoff man. Saw you, Dunnigan. Big, big pitch coming. Oh, just misses the inside part of the plate. Ramey wanted that one. Cole has to settle down a little bit. Uh, Coach Coach Goldman doesn't like that call as well. As he, they as Cole he wanted that one. That's a big seat. pitch. Yeah. But you don't want to get yourself un unrattled here. You want to. That would have been a big out for us. But, hey, you still got one more strike to get to get this batter out. So, got to stay locked in here. Big pitch coming. Full count pitch to leadoff, man. Swung on and driven to center field. Going to be a tough play. Woods is there. Makes it. One run is going to score. Throw to third base. He, he got, got him. him. He There's got the him. double play there by Ronald. Huge Pedro double play. Woods to get us out. And I believe that run did not score Let's in see. time. Let's see. It's did the run score? I'm not sure if they're going to give him the run. No, I don't think they're going to give it to him. What a play by Ronald Woods. We'll be back in 30 seconds. What a way to end. He did, he did okay, score. they are going to give him the run. They we'll be back with more Longview Lobo uh, playoff baseball live on Longview game day. House party? We got you covered. Office meeting? Come on. Treat them right. Game day? You know we're here for it. Get your taco, nacho, or fajita bar today. Only at Juicy's Taco. And now at OR, we want to buy your used vehicle and we'll give you guaranteed top dollar for yours. And if you prefer to trade, even better. With massive savings on every new vehicle at OR Cadillac GMC in Longview. Welcome back. They still haven't put the run on the board, Keaton, so I'm not sure. Oh, there it is, finally. Okay. You can hear the Hallsville fans cheer. <laughs> so, ties the ball game up here. Uh, but that was a heck of a play there by Ronald, uh, Ronald Woods, a.k.a. Mr. Pedro. Uh, he was able to tag the pitcher or the pinch runner for the pitcher, able to tag him out on running third. All righty. So, good job by Ramey. Good job by the Lobo defense. Only coming away with one run surrendered there. It is one to one. Headed to the bottom of the fifth, Keaton. And we take that back. Is it the sixth? Oh, no, it's the fifth. It's yeah, the bottom fifth. Bottom of the fifth here. We're, we're up to back. Um, this has been an excellent, 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 excellent baseball game here by the Lobos and the Bobcats. Um, you can tell this is definitely a third-round playoff game. This game is truly fun to be a part of. Man, if, if you're, again, if you're watching this, man, please share with your friends and family. Tell them they're in for a heck of a game here with a little bit of uh, two innings left to play. That's right. If not more. And Jose Ariano is going to lead things off for the Lobos here in the bottom half of the fifth. He takes the first pitch. In the zone for a strike, it's one and one. Fastball swung on a missed. 0 2 quickly from Bandon to Ariano. It's one and one. I'm sorry, 0 and 2. Curveball 
three pitch strikeout for Landon Bowden. One down quickly here in the bottom of the fifth for Lobo. Again, Hallsville is starting to starting to come alive a little bit. They got a little bit of momentum. Landon Bowden makes makes quickly of that of that at batter, Mr. Ari Ariano. That's right. And Taylor Tatum steps in. Taylor's 0 for 2 tonight. He has struck out and lined out. And he takes a first pitch curveball outside of the zone. Three it's time, one and over. Third time now that I line up is starting to see Mr. Bowden. So I'd love to see how we how we what changes we've made to, to offset what we've done so far. Good swing by Tatum at a fast ball. Fouled back over the net, one and one. One one pitch to Bowden, two to Tatum from Bowden. Fastball misses away. It is two and one. And again, one last time, share this feed. <laughs> this is going to be another photo finish, Keaton, here on Longview Game Day. <laughs> They've all true. been that way this year. That is true. Curveball two and one misses. It's three and one. Tatum is way ahead of Bowden here. Look for a pitch you can drive and see if you can't change the scoreboard here. Last ball mm. just misses up and in. And Tatum, Tatum, Taylor Tatum's aboard again. Ronald Woods is going to step in. Last couple times, Taylor Tatum's been on first. Coach Goldman's called for the bunt. Let's see if he lets Ronald swing away or, or puts this in the hands of Jordan Allen to drive in Taylor Tatum. Yeah, we're one out. With one out already, Frank, I would not want to see him bunt. Uh, I would love to see Ronald go out there and battle a little bit and make him work. And potentially, let's see if we can get a steal, especially with – with uh with the pitcher slow slow kind of take off a little bit or slow uh, delivery, but he did pick off Taylor earlier too in the first. First pitch, good rip by Ronald Woods. Had a good hack at a fastball. That's no good. So Ronald is behind Bowden. Oh and one here quickly. Taylor Tatum on first. A lot of speed. If Woods can find a gap, we'll almost certainly score the go ahead run here. 1-1 one, one pitch to Woods. Curve ball, makes contact, fouls it back towards the Hallsville dugout. It's one and two. Yeah, he's going to have to work a little bit here. 0-2 oh count here. You know you're not going to get a, anything pretty over the strike zone with this type with this type of caliber pitcher pitching the ball. A little meeting on the mound. Woods takes a couple halves, waiting for the catcher to get back behind the plate. Got to give some credit to Zane Holder tonight behind the plate. He has been a pretty good wall back there. A bunch of these curveballs in the dirt. Very few have actually made it to the backstop, Keaton. Oh yeah, he's been he's been sticking it. He's been he's he's been catching everything in sight. One two pitch, scratch that, throw over. Nowhere near in time. Tatum's back. Woods takes the ball, and Taylor Tatum is thrown out, trying to steal second. So two down now. And Woods is behind 2-2. Two -two. Excellent ball throw on there. Absolutely, by, yeah. By Holder, he, he fired that out of the cannon. Just a perfect pitch yeah. to throw a batter out. Fastball up. He was already standing and had to throw down in plenty of time. Woods lays off the one-two curveball. It's two and two. Two-two pitch to Woods. That fastball misses away. So Ronald has taken the count from 0-2 all the way to 
There's our man, DeMarco Murray, in the house. <laughs> How casual is that? Hey, somebody. It's a cowboy legend directly behind us. Hey, I was talking talking to some folks the other day. They was asking about Taylor going potentially. Pal tip. Sorry about that. Strike three. Keith, we'll finish that thought when we get back from commercial. We're going to head to the top of the sixth inning. The Lobos, the Bobcats are tied at one. You're watching Lobo Playoff Baseball live on Longview Game Day. At Godarji and Young, we take things more seriously. Every case that's handled at our office is handled by a team. That work and dedication has caused our office to recover more record verdicts and settlements than any other law firm in Northeast Texas. It is our obligation to make sure our client has the financial backings and the manpower to be successful. We are exactly who we say we are. We're trial lawyers who've gotten results year in, year out. I need to hear you one time. All right, welcome back. Cole Ramey, I believe they said his pitch count's at 66 here, headed to the top of the sixth inning. Very reasonable pitch count. And we are all tied up at one here. And Hallsville feels like they've got a little bit of momentum going, Keaton. Yeah, they do. They do. Um, Where did you go? <laughs> I went to go talk to the. I had to go talk to DeMarco a little bit. Um, In case you're wondering, that is Cowboy legend and great DeMarco Murray, literally standing behind us watching our broadcast on the television. Oh yeah, I've um, I'm, I've had to, I've had the honor of seeing DeMarco man probably about four or five times this year yeah. at, at a lot of the football games. So to see him this side on the baseball game is definitely. Definitely a sight yeah. to see, so I had to shout him. I had to say what's up to him. He's just out here casually on what I assume is an, an unofficial visit here to Longview yeah, High School. Yeah, he had to sneak in. Before anybody else see him, he's going he's gonna to probably run out of here pretty, pretty, pretty fast. That's right. Um, back to the task at hand. So Cole Ramey got in a little bit of trouble last inning through strikes. Defense got him out of the gym. So, let's see if we can't pound the strike zone, get us three quick outs, and let the Lobo offense get back to running. Oh, yeah, you got Cole coming out, working out, for, working it for the sixth inning here. Um, love to see him, love to see him make work here of Ethan Miller, center fielder, so you know he's a guy that has some speed here. Beat of the order coming up here, two, three, and four for Cole Ramey. Curve, that's a fastball up in the zone, strike one. Yep. Very pivotal inning for us right now. You definitely want to see see Cole come away with a lot of confidence to get himself out of this this inning. Curveball that just missed the zone one and one. Just a little bit high for the umps liking, but I loved it. I wanted I wanted to see him call it for a strike there. One one fastball, good pitch, swung on a miss, and Ramey's still feeling it. You can see it, Keaton. Body language. Yeah. He's got a ton of confidence. And working quick. Yeah, and it seems like Ethan has been swinging a little bit behind the fastball here right now. One, two. Curveball just barely put into play. Foul. We'll come back and do the one, two all over again. I don't like balls getting fouled that way. <laughs> there are literally 800 people on the hill, and that's where my 300-foot internet cable is headed up. So... All the kids start running to the foul ball, it increases the chances that our feed just goes black, Keaton, and now would be the worst time for that. The worst time. One, two. Fastball swung on and missed. Strike three. Cole got the working, working that fastball. He had it going this at bat as Ethan couldn't catch up to it. The three times that he's seen it. He was swinging behind it all three times, and, hey, he struck, struck him out. Absolutely excellent fastball with some late life up in the zone. Tough to do anything with on one, two. And number two, Blake Cox, right fielder, is going to step in. He's singled and been hit by a pitch. He's been on both times tonight. He takes a first pitch fastball. Cole's got a little zip behind that at the moment. Oh, yeah. Cole, That's high for a ball. And, and Cole is working here. He, he has a lot of pitch to work with. He's only thrown about 70 pitches so far. That ball's popped up to first base. Campbell Williams underneath it. Easy play, two down. Keaton, two weeks, almost two weeks in a row now that, that, that our boy Cole Ramey has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with legit 
top college prospects. Hey, man, it's you, impressive. Yeah, you, you just only can wonder what that does to his confidence. I can see what it's doing to his confidence. It, he, he is, it, and this does nothing but wonders for our team. He's been pitching great for us. Absolutely. First pitch fastball foul. It's going to be a tough play for Campbell. He's over just out of play, and Ramey's ahead 0-1. I'm not going to lie to you. If you'd have told me five weeks yeah. ago we'd be three rounds deep and Cole Ramey yeah. would be handling Hallsville, I wouldn't have believed you, Keaton. Man, I mean, he has he has gotten it going at the right time. And not just Cole Ramey, just Lobo pitchers in general. We struggle just, a little bit with pitching early yeah, in the season. just the team in general. I mean, we finished fourth, fourth in the district. Um, we was able to to curve against. Oh, oh, catching the oh, front door again. Oh, two. Yes, yeah, Cole from is Cole Ramey Cole is to right Trenton now. Johnson. He's feeling it. Yeah, Cole is dealing right now, man. Oh, two. And, and he can do whatever it. he wants yes. right now. Fastball. Two seamer just misses the outside part of the plate. Everybody in the place wanted that one, Keaton. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. Would love to see some momentum go back on our side with a strike out there. Ramey set for the one two. Curve ball put into play. Tough play for Gates. Got a lot of speed. Oh, it gets past. It gets past Campbell Williams. The runner is making a head to the second, making his turn. He slides into second. And just like that, a runner is in scoring position for the Bobcats on a throwing error by Trey Gates. And Cole Ramey's going to have to pitch himself out of another jam. Not of his doing. So if there, Trey, Trey had to get that ball out quick, and he yeah, just overshot it. Yeah, yeah, once he got the ball in his glove, I think he realized there's a lot more speed headed down first base than he originally thought. Made a good hard throw, just sailed past the six foot six Campbell Williams. But... We're still a good pitch away from getting out of this one. Oh, yeah. Trey just probably took one, two, too many uh, hops there. We can just gather himself on one hop and then yeah, just and get it over there. We talked about it earlier. This is, it's everybody. Keaton, yes. the pressure is going to be on every single kid that touches this baseball the rest of the way. There's just no way around it. Yes, indeed. First pitch curveball driven to left field. Way foul. Thank goodness that ball was hit really well. Yeah, just got out there too like, early on. He's probably... Probably thought he was going to see a fastball there. Cole hung that one right in the wheelhouse. Got away with it. Ashton Garza almost yanks one out of here, but it's going to go in the books as a strike, Keaton, and it's 0-1. Go ask uh, DeMarco if he'll take a selfie with us. <laughs> Between us with our headsets yeah, on yeah. while we're live on air. <laughs> 0 1 pitch, Ramey comes set to number 15, Ashton Garza. Fastball swung on a miss, good pitch. 0 2 again. Ramey circling the mound. Almost looks like a, a shark out there, Keaton. He is just locked in. He can he can smell blood in the water. He doesn't. This kid is swinging at just about anything he throws up here. Yeah, he looks like a kid that is definitely wanting to see this game through to the finish. Let's bury one of these curveballs as Cole steps off. Didn't like the count. Didn't like the call that he can see in here. Here we go. 0-2 pitch from Cole Ramey. Two down here in the sixth high ball game. Fastball put into play the gates again. Gonna go the long way. That time the throw is on line. And the Lobos have done it. We're headed to the bottom of the six, all tied up. You are watching Longview Lobo playoff baseball live on Longview Game Day. And now at OR, we want to buy your used vehicle and we'll give you guaranteed top dollar for yours. And if you prefer to trade, even better, with massive savings on every new vehicle at OR Cadillac GMC in Longview. All righty, welcome back to game day's presentation of the Longview Lobos Hallsville Bobcats Regional Quarterfinal matchup one last time we want to thank Emily Ramey of Sig Ramey Insurance for helping us bring this to you 
Um, UIL has a licensing fee for playoff games, and Miss Ramey was my first call, and uh, she happily, happily helped us take care of that. So shout her out next time you see her. You know her. She'll be the one screaming for Cole Ramey and uh, raising all kinds of heck. Yeah, I know she's mad that she couldn't be here, uh, but she's – I can. I think I heard a little bit screaming. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, she's definitely cheering. Who's that? We got a fat head in the, <laughs> in the stands. <laughs> hey, that's your QB one. That's Jordan Allen there, as he's right on cue for to get ready to come All up. Right, so Jordan Allen's gonna lead us off here in the bottom of the sixth inning, tied at one. I'm not gonna lie to you, Keaton. If you'd have told me before this game started, we'd have one single hit, but we'd be tied at one headed to the bottom of the six. I'd have taken it. Yeah, right then and there. Let's yeah, do this. Yep, yep. The Lobos are the cardiac kids, man. It's what we do. Yes, indeed. We're gonna fight to the finish. We're not giving up. We're not giving anything. And as if there was any doubt, Landon Bowden's gonna be back on the mound here for the Bobcats. His first pitch to Jordan Allen. Fastball swung on. Good rip, but it's foul tipped. Strike one. Curve ball, swung on and fouled that back. Down 0-2. Yeah, he's mad at himself there. He definitely wanted to get that hit. He knew he knew he missed it. He was just out in front. Good pitch to hit there. Now 0-2 against a kid that's got a couple plus pitches. You're going to be guessing here, Keaton. Not a fun spot to be in. Yeah. And with all the pressure in the world on you as we get towards the end of this game, fastball, strike three, swing. Good fastball up in the zone. Landon Bounder, he's definitely been dealing tonight. He has, man, he has well over 10 strikeouts. Now batting number 13, Drew Flores. Was actually, just nine strikeouts so far. Yeah, that's right at 10, my bad. I think it's, either way, 10. Yeah. Drew Flores takes a swing at the first pitch fastball. He fouls that back. Yeah, I had to correct myself here. I didn't get that. I didn't count that first one from Taylor. He's double digit strikeouts for Bowden. He's been dealing pretty hard tonight, but it's all tied up. Might as well be 0 0, Keaton. 0 1 pitch to Flores is a curved ball that's going to stay off the plate outside 1 and 1. And you got you got these kids, uh, Crosstown Rivalry, Longville, Hallsville. A lot, these kids have seen each other a lot, a lot of times. Fastball misses into Drew. It's 2 and 1. So these I'm sure they all like. They know each other. They're going to yeah. text each other. They probably all go yeah. to the same places to hang out and everything, too. So these kids know each other like the back of the hand. They, That's what they makes this up. rivalry so fun. Oh, yeah. A lot of these kids grew up playing together. 2-1 pitch to Flores. That fastball tails back in and catches the inside part of the plate for a strike. So it's 2-2 two and two now. Uh-oh, ball's hit well. Deep into left field, but the left fielder is back underneath it. And the play is made. Good at bat by Drew Flores. Puts a good swing on one, but just misses the barrel of the bat. Yep. Just, got, just got under it just a little bit. Uh, the left fielder didn't have to move too much. As he knows, Drew's has, Drew has a lot of power. But excellent at bat there by Drew. So Campbell Williams steps in. Campbell struck out both times swinging tonight, and he takes a first pitch curveball in there for a strike. Just a really, really tough at bat for a big, tall kid with long limbs like this, especially when he's getting that part of the zone low and inside. A one pitch. That fastball just misses inside. Landon doesn't like that call. He's asking, he's asking him, was it a little bit too far inside? That ball's low. Campbell the third ball in the dirt. He did a good job of laying off of that. And the two one pitch misses high. So Campbell's ahead three and one. Show, he may be showing a little bit of fatigue here. Um, he's 3-1 pitch to Williams. He's got some power. Yep. Fastball, that's in there for a strike. Full count. Big 
Big pitch coming for Landon Bowden. Full count pitch, Campbell Williams. Fastball catches the inside part of the plate, strike three. And we're going to head to the seventh and final inning. All tied up at one. You are watching Lobo Playoff Baseball live on Longview Game Day. At Godarzy and Young, we take things more seriously. Every case that's handled at our office is handled by a team. That work and dedication has caused our office to recover more record verdicts and settlements than any other law firm in Northeast Texas. It is our obligation to make sure our client has the financial backings and the manpower to be successful. We are exactly who we say we are. We're trial lawyers who've gotten results year in, year out. All righty, welcome back to the top of the seventh. Got a look, good look at Jordan Allen and the Lobo center fielder, Taylor Tatum, having a conversation here for the top of the seventh. We're three outs away from having a chance to win this in the seventh. And Cole Ramey, Lobo starting pitcher, is obviously back out on the mound to see if he can't finish what he started. Oh, yeah, he'll love to, love to get through seven innings here. He's been, he's been pitching well for us. I had a little hiccup there in the fifth inning. Um, but he came out in the sixth inning like nothing ever happened. Um, only giving up one run here, so he has nothing nothing to hang his hat on right now. He has been pitching great. I want to say in the past three weeks, he's, he's what his ERA is probably like right at one, one and a half or so. So he's been he's been pitching well for us. I may be giving up a little bit. I'm going to say two. No more than two for us. They're, they're coming up here with their uh, second baseman here, Connor White. He is 0 for 2 right now with a line out and a pop out here. So he's looking to get himself on base here to get Hallsville going at the bottom, at the top of the seventh here. There's a number six, seven, eight guys coming up here for Hallsville. And Cole Ramey is just flat out dealing the rock right now. I'm not going to lie, Deacon. I think I'm probably more nervous than these kids are right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something tells me that, man, that that Cole Cole has a lot of confidence right now. He's he's coming in and working. He got that fastball working last night. Absolutely. So love to see if start, he has that rolling right now. You start pairing fastball command with that curveball, he's darn near unhittable with that stuff. Absolutely right. Especially with uh, with the, uh, the confidence he's got going right now. First pitch. Shows bunt, that fastball catch. Ooh, no, it doesn't catch the outside part of the plate. As Connor White, the second baseman, a little um, smaller zone than some of the other players on the Hallsville team. That ball's ripped, fastball turned on, but it's foul way past Campbell Williams to his left, one and one. Just out there in front of it. This feels so much like the new Caney Porter game. You know how big it <laughs> no. would be to steal one against Definitely. their ace Definitely. at home. But we got some work to do before we can cross that bridge. Cole Ramey's 1-1 one -one pitch is on its way. Curveball misses outside. Looks like he lost the grip of that one. Didn't really commit or finish. Let's it float outside. 2-1. and one. One fastball misses in, so ball three. Yeah, with the batter being short, there it makes it makes it harder, it makes it harder for us to do anything, especially with that high ball pitch here. He has to be perfect, so he may take this this pitch. Three one pitch misses high, and the Bobcats have a leadoff base runner here in the top of the seventh. And with the seven, eight, nine guys coming up, might be time for a bunt. We'll see how the Hallsville staff plays it. I agree here. I think I would see the same thing. I would definitely try to get my seven hole hitter to bunt him over. <laughs> I'm still laughing about uh, <laughs> uh, being accused of stealing their signs, Keaton. Man. We have literally one hit. One hit and accused of stealing a sign. I mean, it's hilarious. Man, that, that, 
they, they, they kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I no, I mean, it did, but I've gotten to these. In my old age, I'm a little composed. Yeah, you know, yeah, come over here the second time, too, yeah. you're going you to see the devil. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, God, he was he, laughing. He, like, what? 12-second like, delay? What are you talking about? Yeah, seriously. Like, come on, man. So, first pitch to the number three, Warren Lakin McPherson. He does show bunt. Ball misses away. Pulls it back, 1-0. Weird Florida State chant going. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Shows fun again. That's ball two. Cole doesn't like that call there. And they, I think they called a bop. Oh. They did. So the runners advanced to second. Coach Goldman's going to go talk to Cole. See if he can't settle him down a little bit. Going to talk to the umpire and try to figure out what happened there. Yeah, I don't. I think now, I missed that. Now this bunt. Could potentially get the runner to third base with less than two outs. So coach is going to go talk to the second base umpire, see if he can figure out what happened. Oh, I didn't. I'm I'm pulling up the replay on on my phone and I'm I'm looking at it and it definitely didn't look like one to me. Didn't see anything there, but no. either way, we're going to have a runner at second base here with no outs. And number three, Lakin McPherson at the plate. He's shown bunt twice, so no reason to believe he won't be bunting here to get that runner over to third. Oh, man, that was a horrible call there. But, hey, nothing we can do about it now. There's no replay in high school. Absolutely. High school baseball. Uh, only, thing you, only thing you can't control is what you can't control. And you got to run on second base here with no outs. Um, with a 1-0 count here. So, a couple big pitches coming here for Cole Ramey. As we're almost certainly going to see a bunt attempt here. Pulls it back, ball three. So 3 0 count here. Either a take or a bunt. He shows bunt. He offers at it. Probably ball four. We'll take the strike. Definitely, definitely lived up to the height here. Um, you are at the top of the seventh inning and with, with a one-one ball game. Yeah, it's getting it's getting pretty tense. So three-one pitch here to Lakin McPherson. He foul temps again, and that's foul. And that's good for us because that definitely is going to take that bunt off now. Big, big pitch here from Ramey on a full count. Our batters gifted him a couple strikes. Got a chance two in this at bat and keep that runner at second base would be massive because yes. then you take you take the ball in play score and run out of play big pitch coming here full count runner on second nobody down top of the last inning here the seventh this is the biggest pitching spot of the season so far for the Lobos Bottom of the order here for the Bobcats. Here we go. Full count pitch. Curveball swung on and missed. Big out. Big out there. Massive out by Cole Ramey. Struck out swing. What a way there. to come back from 3 0. Yeah, struck out swing in there. We definitely needed that. So love that going for us. To Absolutely strike. monster strikeout by Cole Ramey. Bring up Jack Holiday. Jack has had a good night tonight. He's walked. He's singled. And if I recall, scored the only run for Hallsville. 
before Tut, before Woods threw out the runner at third base. So yep. here we go. Yeah, he's a guy with a lot of speed. Pretty good hitter to be hitting in the seven or eight hole. Yeah, there, I, I definitely agree with you on that too. That's just got, like I said earlier, just kind of goes to show you how deep this Hallsville lineup really is. Ian Bowden are hitting eight nine tonight, and they look like two of the better hitters we've seen this year. Absolutely, it's incredible. Absolutely, he's been on base both times, as you said earlier, and Bowden as well, who's coming up the bat right after him. One zero pitch from Ramey. Pickoff play. Almost threw that in the center field. Good play by Ariano to get up and get that ball. But the runner's back in time. They thought he might have popped off the bag while Jose had the tag on him, but no dice. here on the infielders there. one -0 pitch. Fastball, good swing by Holiday. Fouled back into the net, 1-1. One one. <laughs> Very tense moment. Yeah, right I'm now. serious. This is, this is the most tense I've felt since those last <laughs> few seconds in that Alito football game. This is oh, man, don't unbelievable. Bring that, please don't bring that game back up. <laughs> <laughs> so Cole Ramey. Count even at one. Holiday. Curveball, good pitch, fouled away. One and two. Yeah, the pitcher's count right now with a one and two. Love to see what, what he try to get over on him right Man, now. I don't know what you throw here. I don't know. I don't either. I think I, if I'm being honest, I think your best bet's to try to run that fastball in on his hands and yeah. see if. You know, he's a big, tall kid, long levers. Fast. Yeah, see if he's fast enough to turn on it. Yeah, see if you can jam him and get an easy out on a, on a soft grounder. Here we go. One, two. Fastball. Oh, strike three. <laughs> big time there. Cole Ramey. Absolutely dealing tonight for the Lobos. Big time. Big time strike out there for us. Uh, that brings the two two outs with the run on second. You definitely, you definitely want to get this pitcher out right now and get the number to the nine bottom of the seven with a one one tie. Get to the top of this order. Runner on scoring position, opposing pitcher Landon Bowden steps in. Cole Ramey set for the first pitch to Bowden. He steps off the bat, the, the mound. We'll take our time before we bring you the first pitch to Bowden. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Landis last that bat. He had a shot right there. Over, yeah, he did. He took a fastball and yep. ripped it down the right field line. I wonder if Coach Goldman takes a different approach. There's a curveball. Strike one. He doesn't like that count either. He doesn't like that call. But, hey, he's a pitcher. He's he, he know he's, he's been working this umpire all night as well. Six, seven, eight. Do up for your Lobos if we can get past this hitter. Bob the Older's been doing their thing all year, but first things first. Ramey to Bowden, 0 1 pitch. Fastball, swung on and missed, 0 1. Hey, Drew. Excellent job uh, catching behind there by Drew. So Ramey is in the driver's seat yeah. this is bat. Hey, Ramey, you got one job here. Let's get him. Let's get him out, kid. He's not going to get anything pretty to swing at right here. Almost kind of throw him a curveball in the dirt. Absolutely. Here comes the 0-2 pitch from Ramey to Bowden. Curveball swung on foul tip. Just missed Drew's glove. <laughs> We're going to do it again. He knows it too. Had a pretty good swing on that fastball. I wonder if Coach Goldman decides to go with a different pitch after seeing that. He, he waited on it. Pretty good swing on it. All jokes aside, Keaton, if we go too many more innings, I'm going to have to give you to run an extension cord over to our camera in the dugout. <laughs> Seriously, it's on battery power. Oh, it doesn't have three hours in it. Yeah, yeah. We're two hours and ten minutes into this stream. 0-2 pitch coming again from Cole Ramey to Landon Bowden. Massive, massive pitch coming. Fastball just misses inside. Good waste pitch. No 
nobody, nobody is left tonight. Uh, oh my goodness! Everybody's there still people here. Piling, it's, you, there's no, there's no crowd noise. It's just a drum. Like everyone here can feel the same tension. Yes. One, two. Oh, Cole Ramey hits Bowden with the one-two pitch and puts runners on first and second for the top of the order. We talked about it a few times in the broadcast. That's been Cole's biggest kind of bugaboo this season. Keaton is the hit by pitch, and it bites him again here. But, again, we're a good pitch away from getting out of this jam. Yeah, and of As course, Sawyer no, Dunnigan steps five. in. Saunders hit the ball in play three no. times. Sacrifice fly. His last time up, drove in the only run. He's hit the ball hard. So, we got our hands full here. Yep, gotcha. We did not want to lose the nine-hole hitter there. Yeah, my memory serves me. He's a lefty, too, as well. So, you definitely, you definitely don't want to. Give him anything pretty to swing at. Gotcha. Lots of speed on the bases. Big arms in the outfield for the Lobos. So, here we go. Keaton, I'm going to need. Fastball just misses high. 1-0. Sawyer Dunnigan here with the biggest spot so far in his season here for the Bobcats. Top of the seventh, all tied at one, two outs. Curveball in the dirt. Good stop by Drew. 2-0. Big, big and spot it, here for Cole Does it get any easier well. after yeah. Dunnigan, so we got to attack this hitter here. Yeah. As Cole takes a little walk to see if he can't compose himself here. And on the flip side, this is the biggest moment of Cole Ramey's career, I mean, season. Yep, definitely the biggest the biggest moment right now of the season for him. We had a couple solid pitchers last year, so I don't remember Cole throwing a whole lot last year. So, looks like something's going on. Got a got some stop stoppage in play here. Keaton, you see what's happening over there? Yeah, I think he was just one. He was saying something to the batter. I don't know what he was saying. Oh, he was telling him to get into the batter. The on base guy. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Got, I mean, sorry, the. Uh, into the batter. Uh, the batter's box hitter was a little too far behind on plate. That makes some sense. All right. 2 0 from Cole Ramey to Sawyer Dunnigan. Big, big couple of pitches coming here for the Lobos. Fastball up the middle. Oh, oh yes. Ramey snags it and throws him out. There you go. Oh, my goodness. Yes, Cole sir. Ramey gets yes, out of the jam. That was a big, big time play there by Cole Ramey. All right, we're taking a break. We'll be back, bottom of the seventh, coming up. Lobo Baseball Live on LV Game Day. House party? We got you covered. Office meeting? Come on, treat them right. Game day? You know we're here for it. Get your taco, nacho, or fajita bar today. Only at Juicy's Taco. And now at OR, we want to buy your used vehicle and we'll give you guaranteed top dollar for yours. And if you prefer to trade, even better. With massive savings on every new vehicle at OR Cadillac GMC in Longview. All right, welcome back. This place is going insane right now, Keaton. Yes, sir. I mean, this, is, this feels like a Friday night, uh, Saturday night playoff game. I mean, this is and it's Thursday, man. This atmosphere is live and electric. Uh, man, you got the Lobos on the first of a win if they can get it here. Uh, it was the bottom of the seventh here, and we're in a one-one tie. There's a Andrew Tut, fat head. I believe Andrew Tut's gonna lead us off here in the bottom of the seventh. Lobos, a run here, and we still game one in a three-game series against the, the best opposing starting pitcher Hallsville has to offer. Yes, sir. That would be big. I mean, this game has been very entertaining. Uh, not in the school, boys, but hey, but us keeping Hallsville to one run, that's excellent Yeah, for us. unbelievable. Uh, it's Cole Ramey. I mean, he's pitched yes. his behind off tonight. Andrew Tut steps in against Landon Bowden, who's back out for the Bobcats. First pitch misses high, ball one. Foul tip.
That ball's put into play. It's going to be a tough play to make. Shortstop's got it. Fires it over. Nice play by the shortstop. Wow. Excellent play there by the shortstop. Made that made that look anything but but routine. And that was that Sawyer. Sawyer Dunnigan, yeah, just a Sawyer baseball Dunnigan. player yeah. over there. Heck of a play there by him. All right, we got batting now. Number one, Keeper Roxy. Got Kiefer coming up here. He's uh, he's been on base both times. He he had a double early, early as a hustle double. First pitch to Dox is in there for a strike. And the second time he he got on base with the walk as he made it as he made the pitch to throw a lot of pitches at him. Strike one. That ball's fouled back out of play. Strike two. So Kiefer Doxy down 0-2 to Landon Bowden. Fastball just misses the inside part of the plate. Ooh, Keaton, I don't have a whole lot to say right now. <laughs> Curve ball, that ball's yeah. fouled off, hey, so Kiefer's fighting. The tension is thick here, we feel it. Oh, uh, man, there's just not a lot to say right now. Everybody knows what's on the line. Yeah, next run wins for the Lobos. There's a good, good layoff by Kiefer Doxon. Now it misses. Full count. So Kiefer's worked it from 0-2 back to full. Big pitch coming from Bowden to Doxy. Full count pitch. Swung on fastball. Strike three. You know, Keaton, it's, it's not a bad thing when you've got a, a a low 90s heater to lead on when you're in a bad spot. Yeah, I mean, he can, when you get himself in trouble, he can get himself out of it very quickly. He's having to work tonight, and he's been he's been nothing short of magnificent for, for Hallfield right now. I see he's only giving up one hit if you can, if, if, if you're counting the, the, the scoreboard there. First pitch to Gates is in there for a strike. There's a good swing by Gates. That ball's fouled back over the net, 0-2. Oh, 0-2 curveball just misses outside. Good layoff by Trey. It almost caught the back door. So Keaton, we're a strike away from extras here yes, in a sir. huge game. Strike three swinging, and to Travian Gates is the third out, and we're going to head to extra innings, top of the eighth. Coming up, you're watching Lobo Playoff Baseball, the regional quarterfinals here on Longview Game Bay. We'll be back in about 30 seconds. Over the last 10 years, our office has achieved many record verdicts and settlements. Our commitment has always been to outwork and outfight any opponent we have in whatever courtroom we find ourselves in. At Godarzy and Young, we have settlements and verdicts that are unmatched. Whether you come face to face with the corporation or the insurance company, they know that if they don't justly compensate our clients, they're going to have to face the Godarzy and Young trial team in the courtroom. Pitch count, We're back. So Cole Ramey's coming back out to throw his 104th pitch. He may have enough to get through two batters if he's efficient. He might be able to get us through the eighth. But either way, Cole, when you go back and watch this or whether or not you do, maybe 10 years from now, you 
pitched your behind off tonight and did what you had to do. Absolutely. Kept your team in the baseball game against a quality opponent. Absolutely. Well said, uh, man, Cole, you have pitched your butt off. You, you've done well. You have nothing to hang your hat on. Uh, man, these last, these last, well, ever since the playoffs have started, you've been magnificent for us. Yeah, and I, like I told you last night, I just he just had that aura about him at the banquet. Like he just he was going to shove. Yes. There was no questions about it. He was going to shove tonight. Yes, he, he definitely been all business today. Oh yeah. He, so, who we got coming up here for Hallsville? Let me take a look. Is a two hole hitter, Ethan Miller, the center fielder. Um, his last at bat, he struck out. So Blake. I thought we hit Sawyer with a pitch. No, we hit Landon with a pitch. Mm -hmm. And then Dunnigan lined out to Cole. So you're right, number 11, Ethan Miller. Ethan is the two-hole. So we got the meat of the order coming up here, two, three, and four. If Cole is efficient, he's got a chance to get all three of them. So throw strikes, young man. I presume Campbell Williams is loose or will be getting loose. He's kind of been our late-inning guy. The first things first. We got extra innings, Keaton. No shocker here. Absolutely. We got extra baseball here. On a school night. <laughs> no surprise here. First pitch swinging. Popped up over the plate. Drew's going to run out of room. Strike one. Well, I'll say it again. If you're watching this feed, and I can see that there are a ton of you, <laughs> share it. <laughs> Let everybody know that we're in extra innings here in game one of a regional quarterfinal series, a series that Longview hasn't taken part in in 70 years since their near state title run back in the early 50s. That ball's hit well, but it's hit towards Taylor Tatum, and he makes that play easily. My goodness. Pays to have an excellent Ow. center fielder out there. I mean, he made that with no, he made that look as easy as can be. I mean, that ball was smashed, <laughs> and I just knew instantly, well, yes. we got number two out there. That's an out. <laughs> That's true. The college coaches, if you don't know, if you're not watching, got a plus center fielder out there. One of the best. Plus one, power. Yeah, one of the best athletes in the nation. Oh, I mean, if you might happen to be need a running back, too, he can help you there. <laughs> one down quickly for Ramey. First pitch is outside for a ball. And this is number two, Blake Cox. Blake's is singled, been hit by a pitch, and popped out his last time up. And I don't know where Ramey's pitch count is. 104, 5, 6. That should be 107. This should be pitch number 108. Fastball misses away. 2 0. Oh. So with that, this may be Cole's last batter. Two O pitch misses low. And Drew's going to go out and talk to Cole. I think he knows he's he, he's he's pretty much running on fumes right now. So he's doing whatever he can to try to get this batter. Absolutely. I hope they haven't. I guess they've taken the grill out of here already. They're going to have to turn the thing back on and feed us again. Yeah. So Cole Ramey is behind the three hole hitter, Blake Cox. 3 and 0 oh here. Let's see if he can come back and get his last hitter here. Yes, sir. Center just walked by. Big kid, there. Big kid passes the eyeball test. Oh you got your, your your other running back Boosie here. Is is still making moves on players. <laughs> Three zero pitch from Ramey. That's in there for a strike. Come all the way back, says Coach Goldman. And he's here for it. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna fight his players on. That's in there for a strike. So Cole Ramey has fought back from 3-0 to fill the count up on Blake Cox. And this will probably be Cole's last pitch. Let's see how this at bat ends here. Fastball strike three. 
Excellent work there by Cole. I guarantee you he's going to come out to a standing ovation. Absolutely. We, I am out of superlatives to describe this young man's night. I'll let you let the crowd tell you what they think about yes. this. My man. Good job, Cole. Emily, Miss Ramey, I hope you are one proud mama tonight. Absolutely. Emily, you, your, your boy <laughs> pitched his behind off in the biggest spot yes. of his season of his career. And you heard the crowd. They're telling you everything that we can't. His teammates love it. Every single one of them has came out of the dugout to greet him. Unbelievable. Two monster left-handed starters come to Longview for game ones of Pivotal Series. And Cole Ramey goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, Keaton. Yes, sir. I mean, he, he belongs. There's yeah, no getting around it. A yeah, big kid. Uh, pitch, he's been pitching big all moments. I mean, all season long for us. Uh, he's coming up bigger in the playoffs. Uh, Got to take your hats off to him. He's been he's done well for us. Absolutely unbelievable night on the mound for Cole Ramey. Holds Hallsville to one single run scored, and the Lobos bats did just enough to get us to extras with Landon Bowden's pitch count yes. rising. He's we got a the, shot here, Keith. Yeah, yeah, he's at the 103 mark, so you're looking at – one or two batters that he's going to face. If it depends on how fast how fast he works or how much we make him work, he can be out of here too as well. And so who knows? Then it's a it's a it's an open ball game after that. Cole's dad just passed this. I'm sure he's going to go say. So, Miss Ramey, I hate you couldn't be here, but I'm glad we were able to let you watch the young man pitches behind off tonight. So, back to the task at hand. This is Campbell Williams, who's kind of played the role as the relief ace for the Lobos here in some really, really big spots in this unlikely, Keaton, I hate to say that, but it's the truth, this unlikely playoff run. We finished fourth in district. This Hazel team beat the snot out of us both times we played, but we've mentioned it in the broadcast several times. This is a completely different Lobo team than Correct. the one they last saw. Correct. We're just a scrappy bunch. The bottom of the order can hit. Our starting pitchers are becoming more confident. Here we go. Campbell Williams is in to, cl to, to, to stop and not close it. To put a stop to what could be a rally here in the eighth inning. And number 19, the cleanup man, Trenton Johnson, takes the first pitch from Williams high for a ball. Second pitch comes in a little high. There's a strike, and Campbell's got a 2-1 pitch coming here to the cleanup hitter, number 19, and the Lobos, if we can get out of this, we've got the 9-1-2 coming up. There's a good fastball from Williams, and he evens the count back up at two. Keaton, you just, you almost, like you can, <laughs> I got goosebumps. You can yeah. feel what's coming inevitably. I mean, we haven't stood up this long for a baseball game <laughs> all season long. Full count, he's strike three, swinging. Campbell Williams does what Campbell Williams does, and we're going to head to the eighth with a chance to win it. Absolutely. We'll be back in 30 seconds. You are watching the regional quarterfinal series here between Longview and the Hallsville Bobcats live on Longview Game Bay. We'll be back shortly. Don't fumble when you're looking for your next trailer. At RJ Trailers, we got the hookup. Cargo Mate, Hallmark, Text Line, Diamond C. We've got the inventory selection to get you into the end zone. Snap into savings with RJ Trailers. Don't pass up on the best deals around. RJ Trailers in Longview and online at rjtrailers.com. We've got. Is he coming out? All right, we're back. We're eagerly anticipating who's coming out of this dugout headed towards the mound. I mean, Hallsville's three or four deep at pitcher. Mm -hmm. And I do not see. Nope, that's somebody. That is not Landon Bowden coming out for the eighth. So this is exactly how game one against New Caney Porter played out. We stuck around just long enough to get to a relief pitcher and scored the winning run. You can see the embrace on camera from Ramey to Jose Ariano. Our second baseman's job is to get on base here. Yep, and that's the right fielder, Blake Cox, coming in to pitch in relief now. A 
as it looks like. Uh, look like t uh, Preston Thomas is taking his spot out there and right. Blake is a righty just coming in. So Longview's been seeing lefties all game. Keaton, I'm starting to think it's not a quint. We may just be where the Lobos needed, right? Yeah, absolutely. They struggled a little I mean, bit before we came over for broadcasting, yes. and they took off like yeah. a rocket ship with game day in the house. Oh, yeah. You know, every single game. Oh. seems like every game that Obviously, we have, we're joking. Yeah, That's yeah, a lot of jest there. But but every every game that we have, every whether it's softball, baseball, basketball, no matter what it is, it's been fun. Sure. Every game, every game has been competitive, and these kids fight hard. Yeah, and when you kids or – Parents or Booster Club, Coach Goldman inevitably watches this in his office tomorrow morning instead of working early like he's going to. I know you are, Coach. Shout out. But I want to say thank you to the Booster Club yes. and Coach Goldman for inviting us to the banquet last night yes. and, and giving us that really um, really creative and like sentimental gift. Like That was really cool. We Absolutely. appreciate it. We have had an absolute blast covering you guys this year. And Keaton, I don't know. It ain't stopping anytime oh, soon. Oh, and, and I can't cancel my vacation oh, next right. week. <laughs> and to echo, echo your statements, man. <laughs> I'm about to teach you how to do this fun. real quick. <laughs> Get a crash been, course in streaming. Yeah, it was fun, and we enjoyed ourselves at the banquet yesterday. So Jose Thank you guys for everything. Jose Ariano is leading us off here. That first pitch fastball has got some got some umph behind it. <laughs> it has some smoke behind it. That's this is sure. Blake Cox, and they've got another righty starter that can touch 93 or 94, and I suspect this is him. That's a good heater, misses away. He's, one and one. I mean, he's throwing smoke. Yes, he is. I that assumed glove. he would be tomorrow's starter. It may still be if he can get out of here with, you know, 30 pitches or so. But one one pitch to Ariano. Fast, that looks like a little changeup. Yeah. That is tough. One, two. That ball has a lot of pop on it. So it would now be a good time for Taylor Tatum's first home run of the season? Man. My goodness, this place would go insane. Ariano, one, two, good rip at a fastball. He stays alive. He, he timed it up a little bit. He's having to, he having to pick his step up, pick his bat speed up a little bit. I, I suspect the change up coming right now here. One, two pitch is a fastball. Swung on and missed, strike one. Lobos are going to have their hands full with this young man. There is no getting around that. Here we go. We got number two, Taylor Tatum. So Taylor Tatum steps in. It's a perfect time for Taylor to get a hit here, um, as he's as, as he's yet to have one tonight. Even though he's he's been on base a couple of times. That ball misses low. Looked like it had a little late movement. Maybe a cutter or a slider there. One and zero. Oh. That fastball misses low, so ahead in the count is Taylor Tatum. Two and zero, oh. big time hitters. Count Ronald Woods waits on deck. But first things first, big pitch here to Taylor Tatum. Fastball catches the outside part of the plate. Two and one. Keaton, be careful now. We don't want to get. We don't need our cords <laughs> strewn about. No, Two one no, pitch. No, I'm not gonna pull anything. Out. There's a fastball though. This kid has got to be throwing low to mid 90s. That ball's humming. Uh, it seems Either way, like it's three and one. Yeah, it seems we like know. Yeah, we know that velocity is not going to affect Taylor Tatum one bit. Here's the three one pitch. And ball four. And Taylor Tatum, excellent at bat. Spits on everything out of the zone. They didn't want to mess around with him at all. Nope. And Ronald Woods, who can best be described as a professional hitter. It's just what he does. He's a hitter. Mm -hmm. Woods comes up with a chance to put something in the gap here and let Taylor, Taylor Speed walk this thing off. I will be careful. We're trying to trying to trying to go for a steal here because he's been throwing nothing he's but been, fastballs. And, he's, a lot and, of, and Taylor's uh, been thrown out twice tonight yes, on the bases. That's true. That's true. Know? That's big here. Can't give away one late, but you also would love to have speed on in scoring position here. Absolutely. With your two, three guys coming up. So let's see how they play it. First pitch to Woods. He shows bunt, pulls it back, and it's a ball outside. Ronald shows a good eye by pulling, pulling I'm not off the bunt. Keaton, I'm legitimately nervous. Man, I'm, I'm excited right now. <laughs> <laughs> so Ronald Woods casually takes the 1 0 fastball away. I'm sorry, the 0 0 fastball away. The count is 1 and 1. He shows bunt, 
and bunts it straight back. I don't know if he's bunting for a hit there. I couldn't see if the third baseman was back. Woods waits for the sign. Third baseman's playing up now after that bunt attempt. Big hole between first and second base. Here comes the 1-1 one -one pitch. Good rip of a fastball by Woods. That was certainly not a bunt, Keaton. Uh, so he's down one and two now. He was definitely trying to get that ball in that right field over there in the gap. Keaton, this Looking is one of those games, base. it's going to come down to a mistake. It just is. That's how this game is going to end one way or the other. Either good for the Lobos or bad for the Lobos, but I feel like the way this game has been played, it's going to come down to the team that makes the first mistake here in extra innings. Absolutely right. One-two pitch to Woods coming. Taylor Tatum, lots of speed on first base. One down. Fastball, strike three. Woods he, doesn't love it. He was trying to call a time, but it was just it was just a little too late there. So it falls to Jordan Allen here in the eighth. Yeah, he just. So Jordan Allen steps in with a chance to be the hero tonight. Pickoff play to first, but Taylor's back in time. Golly, you can literally cut the tension with a knife in this place. First pitch to Jordan, the fastball. Definitely didn't want to Just get misses there. his hip. Yeah, that's not one you want to lean into and eat there. That hurt. Not a hard fastball there. He settles back in. Ahead in the count, 1-0. and oh. Again, this is Blake Cox, I believe, who's come in from right field to relieve Landon Bowden. Ripped. To third base, what a play by the third baseman. And he makes the throw to first, and we're headed to the second extra inning. We'll be back in about 30 seconds with the top of the ninth inning here. You're watching Lobo Playoff Baseball live on Longview Game Day. And now at OR, we want to buy your used vehicle and we'll give you guaranteed top dollar for yours. And if you prefer to trade, even better. With massive savings on every new vehicle at OR Cadillac GMC in Longview. Alrighty, welcome back again. Special thanks to Emily Ramey of Sig Ramey Insurance. We're bringing this game to you live tonight. I appreciate your support, need your help. Any insurance needs, home, auto, commercial, life, motorcycle, and boat, give Emily a call, tell her game day sent you, and she'll take care of you. But Campbell Williams is back out, and you are reading that correctly. We are in the top of the ninth inning, our first extra inning game of the year, Keaton. <laughs> yeah, I'll take got, that back. No? Did we go to extras against Duquesne? We, we did go to extras. My we bad. to the eighth inning with them. Not only was it not our first extra inning, it happened two weeks ago in the biggest stream of the year. So. Yep. Campbell, Campbell Williams have to work a little bit in relief right now. Um, so he has his work cut out for him. He is uh, he's actually going to relief here with Blake Cox right now, too, for Hallsville. Um, if you watched that last inning, Blake Cox, is, he's willing to deal. And he has, he's throwing probably mid-90s fastballs here. And their, their, big, their big first baseman, Aston Garza, is about to come up to, to bat for, for the Bobcats here. And right now, it's, it is anybody's game. Uh, this game definitely has not disappointed. Everybody's here and enjoying this game. Man, if you're streaming, if you're still watching this game, thank you for being a part of it. It's, it's, yeah. been, it's been truly, truly fun bringing it to you. Yeah, it's been a really well-played game. One of those games that, like I said, almost feels like the first team to make the mistakes is going to be what cost them here with the, start with the pitching so, so solid tonight. So Campbell Williams out. For his first full inning of relief, good fastball up in the zone. And number 15, Ashton Garza, takes a good rip at that, but comes away 
with a strike. It's 0-1. Another fastball up in the zone, and Campbell's living up high with a heater early. 0-2. Yep, got him fishing, got him, got him working for it. Next pitch here, strikes out. Strikes out swinging as he throws nothing but gas to him. All three strikes there to get the first out here for the Lobos. And their next, their next batter is the second baseman, Connor White. Um, he has he has yet to register a hit, but he's one. I mean, he's uh, he walked his last at bat. And if you remember last time we talked about, it, we talked about the height wise. So him being short, we make makes the strike zone a little bit a little bit tighter there for us. Campbell works easy. He's he seems to be getting it rolling right now for for the Lobos. First pitch strike. Second pitch just a little high and outside. Brings the count up to one and one here. And the one one pitch from Campbell is going to miss just a little bit high. Looked pretty good from here, but like you alluded to earlier, a little bit smaller strike zone here than the last batter. Yeah. Sometimes he's kind of over his earth and just get it, get it, get it too far, too high up. Foul ball straight back. Two and two. Sorry, keep. I appreciate you filling in for me. I'm eating a snack. I've been here since about two o'clock today. I'm serious. Yeah, I know it's time. I know you're definitely ready to eat something. Two-two pitch. Something off speed, but it misses away. And Connor White has run the count full on Campbell Williams. There it is, but it's going to find a hole. Kiefer Doxy's there. Yeah. The throw pulls Cole Ramey off the bag. Yeah, that was, a, that was an error there by Doxy. He, he just he just kind of got it over there away from uh, away from Cole there. He got Cole off the bag. All right, so we got a runner on first base now. One down here in the ninth. And Lakin McPherson. Has not reached base tonight. Lined out, struck out twice. Let's see if Campbell Williams can work around a minor defensive lapse behind him. First pitch from Williams is low. Good fastball, swung on and missed. Yep. I have to think that this Hallsville team is probably almost shell-shocked at this point. Absolutely. These Lobo pitchers are infinitely better than the last time they faced them. And the lineup wasn't all that intimidated versus Bowden. Granted, we only reached base, you know, four or five times tops in eight innings, but, yeah, but that's, it ain't over. Yeah, and that's no lie. Uh, because the first two times that they faced us, they, they beat us pretty easily. But it's hard to beat a team three times, and especially to see them in the best three and I, series. And I can tell this the, 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 the just the, the vibe with the crowd. They didn't they didn't roll this deep. Yes. to expect to be <laughs> to not leave here with a dub. So they knew something was brewing over here in, in Lobo Land, and they definitely Absolutely. want to be a part of it. Two two pitch wins. Good breaking ball. He wants the pitch. I know it looked good, Campbell. Take a couple deep breaths. Last thing we want is the umpire. Not loving your reaction. Ground ball through the hole. Runner was going, but he has to stay at second. Past a diving Trey Gates. Out to left field. And it is first and second now. Hard hit single there. Absolutely. He smoked that one. Yeah. Here comes the 8-9 guys who have given us some trouble tonight. That's true. Mr. Jack Holiday here. Speedster here for the for, for the Bobcats. He's the left fielder. He's not going to provide anything easily for us. And baseball is truly a game of inches, Keaton. Kiefer Doxy throw was on line by a foot. That's two down. That curved ball that Williams wanted gets called. We're out of the inning. 
let's see here what the what the what the refs are talking about. I'm not sure what they're talking about here. I, I, I think he was probably asking how many timeouts he can get or how many times he can go oh. out there. Gotcha. Didn't know if he'd visit the mound yet or not. Yeah. Bit of a jam here for Campbell Williams, but he was in one all night versus Porter. Gets his way out of it. Look at those kids on top of the, <laughs> the tennis court. <laughs> this, this is crazy. This has been this has been everything that you can ask for in a baseball game. No plan. Again, All right. If you hear the Lobos, you got you got one out here, two Jack, runners on. Jack Holiday is going to come to the plate. Like we said earlier, Jack's had a pretty good night tonight. He's been on two or three times, struck out his last time up, scored their lone run, and just putting some pretty good bats together. Here we go. First pitch from Williams to Holiday is flared into right field. It's going to be a tough play. No, Kiefer's over and handles that easily. Big pitch. It looked like it might be headed over his head. Yep. Two down. All right, Campbell. Let's settle down and throw a strike here. we got the nine-hole hitter coming up. Landon Bowden, but Landon got a pinch. has doubled twice. And reach via the hit by pitch. Scratch that. that. That does not look like Landon Bowden. No, that's him. I think he's just DH. Okay, it is. Okay. Yeah, he just. I, I think they're switching the DH spot out now. So. Scratch that. It is going to be Landon Bowden, the opposing starting pitcher tonight. Like I said, it's been on all three times from the nine hole, and has a chance to do something really special here late in Lobo Land. That's Two outs. Remember Runners it? on first and second. Sorry, Keith. Oh, you good? You remember the last that bat? He was, um, he was, he was down to a 0-2 count, and he just, he just got hit with the with the ball there. So we, we definitely didn't want want to see him get on. Big time spot here for Campbell Williams. First pitch to Bowden gets past Flores. Runners are going to advance to second, and third now. No harm, no foul. Let's just worry about the man at the plate. Yep. Now a single likely scores two with the speed on the bases there. Big spot here for the Lobos and Campbell Williams on the mound. One zero pitch from Williams to Bowden on its way. Swung on, foul tipped into the glove of Drew Flores, one and one. This is his first time seeing seeing Campbell tonight, so love to see Campbell get him out, work him out here with no runners on base. Well, love to no, not get the runners home is what I meant to say. Absolutely. And again, Keith, no matter how this ends, the Lobos have proven their point that they can play with this baseball team. Yes. Fastball just misses away. Campbell is not in love with the strike zone right now. Coach wanted that one. Yep, coach wants him to keep pitching as well. I mean, if we're being honest, half the ballpark wanted that one. Yes, indeed. The other half's okay with it. Popped up. Please be a play. It looks like it is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah. That's a foul ball. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Campbell came up from behind and bumped Drew. Got to talk. Convert that into an out. It's yeah. okay. Let's don't let that beat us. Two-two. Just the same as a foul ball yeah. over the net. It's tough there. Absolutely. Let's regroup and get this out. Two strikes now. Two and two. And again, Keaton, just so many emotions running through these young men right now. Don't know whose ball that was. It yeah. landed three feet this side of the plate. Drew looked like he had a beat on it. Campbell did as well. It was hit a mile up Let's get there. past it and don't let it beat us. 2-2 pitch here from Campbell Williams to Landon Bowden. Curve ball swung on and missed. And here we go. What a pitch by Campbell Williams. Pitching out of the jam. We're going to head to the bottom of the ninth. Next one for the Lobos wins it. We'll be back. 
in about 30 seconds. You're watching the regional quarterfinals here on Longview Game Day. House party? We got you covered. Office meeting? Come on, treat them right. Game day? You know we're here for it. Get your taco, nacho, or fajita bar today. Only at Juicy's Taco. Over the last 10 years, our office has achieved many record verdicts and settlements. Our commitment has always been to outwork and outfight any opponent we have in whatever courtroom we find ourselves in. At Godard's Yin Young, we have settlements and verdicts that are unmatched. Whether you come face to face with the corporation or the insurance company, they know that if they don't justly compensate our clients, they're going to have to face the Godard's Yin Young trial team in the court. Woods. All right, Miss Woods, we see you up there. No longer are you allowed to tell Ronald he can't dance at home plate. We definitely see where he gets his dance oh, look moves at him. from. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I am going to get cussed out when she oh, sees man, this. Oh, I know. <laughs> You're about to get it on stream, probably. <laughs> she really told Ronald to stop dancing at home yeah, plate. Yeah. Hey, look, you see why Ronald can't control himself. <laughs> All right. Back to the task at hand. It is the bottom of the ninth inning. We are in our second extras. Drew Flores is leading it off. The first time he has seen the pitcher Blake Cox, who's come in relief, just throwing gas, Keaton. Lobos can win it here. Mm -hmm. First pitch, fastball, check swing. They're going to check down. He didn't, he didn't go. It's 1-0. Oh. Love to see a good hit out here to, to left field. Let's get a good, good lead off hit. Put him in scoring position. Fastball popped up. Let's yeah. see if we have room back here. Let's get it out. Just out of play. And Keaton, it's still, it's, it's, I can't wrap my head around looking at the scoreboard. It's, we literally have one hit. Yeah, and that's, it's crazy that we still, and we're, and, and we're tied. And, one and we're one. stacking up pitches against our two best pitchers. Yes. If we can find a way to steal game one and run the pitch count up. It's definitely in our favor. Bound's done for the season. This is our number two guy. Things will be looking good for Saturday morning. Totally agree. But, again, we don't want to put the cart in front of the horse. We do, but we shouldn't. 1-1 one, one to Drew. That's a little slider. But that misses away. But we're definitely painting the scenario for you. And telling Absolutely. You what, what, this is an objectively what, what good thing for, looking, the, for, yeah. for the Lobos. Absolutely. We are prohibitive underdogs in game one. And it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an even game here heading to the late in the extra innings. 2-1 pitch to Drew. That misses low. 3-1. That's good eye. Lobos are a ball away from a leadoff base runner and a pinch runner. And we're definitely do here, so love to see us get some more. So Drew some is looking. Going. He's keyholing right here. He almost walked it off two weeks ago on stream. Here we go. 3-1 pitch to Drew. That misses inside. And Drew Flores is going to lead us off with a walk here. No, no. All right. I'm going to let them do it. <laughs> you got suckered in, too. I can't help it, man. I'm a fan tonight. Hey, let's go. We love it. Bring it. So Leo Rodriguez is going to run for Drew. Leo also plays catcher on the nights that Drew pitches. Fun fact, <laughs> Leo's first game we saw him catch in White House, he threw out two Division I commits <laughs> trying to steal second base. <laughs> hey, they didn't think he had no arm. He had to, he had to hose him down. He got a cannon, right yeah. yeah. They just don't believe it until they see it, mm -hmm. whether it's him or Drew. That's going to bring up Campbell Williams. With a chance to do some damage late, he takes a fastball up, and it's got to be way up to be a ball on Campbell. Yeah. One and zero. Oh. Blake is struggling right now. He's um, he's he's throwing countless balls. He's uh, lost his release point a little bit here, Lee mm -hmm. Keaton. Lost and his that is an too. objectively good thing for the Lobos right now. So, one zero -oh pitch to Campbell. Runner on. Nobody out here in the ninth. That pitch is hit, but fouled just past the catcher. Might have caught. Campbell's shin there. I want to see Campbell shake that off because we definitely, definitely guy, need to keep him around. That guy here. standing behind us looks like he works out a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit, huh? An all pro running back for the Cowboys. <laughs> Look like he's still carrying the ball a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's, if you're watching, he's quite literally three feet behind us. He's checking out our computer screen here. DeMarco Murray, Oklahoma great, Cowboy great. In my opinion, the best Cowboy running back we've ever had. Oh no! I well, that's gonna. Uh oh! That ball's hit the center, but Not good deep. break in center field on the ball. 
Easy play, made one down. Going to get some complaints from some viewers on that one. Yeah, Keaton, you definitely going to give some. And I can't I can let you I can't let you make it with that one. I'm just saying. <laughs> you put that young man behind that early 90s offensive line, he's going to run for 6,000 yards. Yeah, but we'd also – we also don't get those. We'll start a fight in the comments. Yeah. I'm just, let's, you also let's move past this. <laughs> you also don't get those rings <laughs> without 22, toe to two for him with the toughness. Okay. In his defense, vision. Marco was a workhorse. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, Andrew Tut steps in. Again, every Lobo from here on out is going to be up to plate with a chance to do something really special. First pitch catches the sleeve on his jersey. The runners on first and second now. And Tut wears it. Best set of hair on the team's on first, and the second best comes to the plate. <laughs> Tell him it's Ann. And you're right. I'm joking. Jeez. Oh, man. Tell him we're running out of things to talk about. <laughs> we're three you, hours you, into you the you stream. Definitely, you're definitely stirring up the pot. I'm joking, in the f <laughs> and obviously I'm joking. So, let's set this up for you. The Lobos have runners on first and second. It is eerily quiet in this place. I think everybody knows what's at stake here. Um, pitcher is having some issues with command right now. Kiefer Doxy, who is a really solid hitter, loves to take that fastball the other way. This may set up perfectly for Kiefer. Can have a, you can have a pinch runner for Tut. So we're going to have a pinch runner for the pinch runner. Not something I've seen this year. Nope, not at all. And I don't even have 22 on our roster, I believe. Nope. Colby something, I heard the PA announcer. So if he is pinch running for Leo, he's got to have some speed out there at second he base. Definitely, definitely has to. You normally don't see two pinch runners come in for the, for the same Absolutely. Same so... Got a little meeting on the mound here as Hallsville decides what they're going to do. Either way, win, lose, or draw here, the Lobos have made a statement. So Kiefer Doxy, tomorrow's presumed starting pitcher, has a chance here to give himself a shot to pitch us into the next round with a single here if he can take one of these fastballs the other way. Huge moment in this ball game and the Lobo season for that matter. And that ball misses in the dirt, 1-0. and oh. So Kiefer's ahead, 1-0. and oh. Pickoff play. There, it's a hidden ball trick. Don't go for it. Nope. And, and we fell for that earlier this Absolutely. year. Absolutely. We fell for that earlier. That's this what year. the so meeting on the mound ahead. was about. They tried to get us with a hidden ball trick. It worked. It worked. And that's the first pitch running job I've seen from this young man. Excellent work out there. I apologize for not having your name on the roster, but a lot of kids are going to fall for that. Absolutely. We, we definitely fell for it earlier this year. 1-0 pitch. Doxy, good rip at a fastball. 1-1. One one. I am running out of things to say, Keith. Just going to let you see what happens here. Yeah, it's action-packed. It's tense. 1-1 one, one pitch to Kiefer Doxy. Lays off of it. Go, 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 he gets go. past the catcher. There you go. There you go. And runners are now on second and third with one out. Has a base running there by the Lobos. As, the, as that ball get passed, it gets past the catcher. And he's been catching pretty good tonight. <laughs> Keaton, we called it. It looked like it looks like the first mistake is going to be what determines the outcome of this ball game. Kiefer Doxy, all we need from you is to put a ball in play. It's two and one. Sit on that fastball and hit it hard, young man, and let's go home. Here comes a two-one pitch. 
Kiefer Doxy calls time. And again, this is Blake Cox on the mound, who's come in, done a pretty good job in relief. Nasty stuff from the, the right-hander, but the Lobos have just gritted their way to runners in score position. Less than two outs and a chance to win game one and still one at home against Law Hall's two best starters. Yeah. Fastball away, 3-1. And Detravian Gates waits on deck for his turn to do something special. Yes, sir. We're one more of those wild pitches away from getting out of here, Keaton. Whew. Cox is set for the 3-1 pitch. Swung on and fouled right back to us. Full count. God, Kiefer wanted that one. He's mad. That, that was his pitch. Drive. He definitely wanted that pitch. That was his pitch, and he just missed it. Takes a quick walk, heads back to the box. Takes Massive deep. pitch coming here. A couple deep breaths here to settle himself down. Full count pitch from Cox to Kiefer Doxy, and Cox steps off to regroup a little bit. This cloud crowd is ready to erupt. Now Kiefer calls time. Everybody knows how big this moment is right now. Infield is in, too, as well. So a hard base hit here would definitely get one, not maybe even both of them, both of the runs. Wait, we only need one. Ball four. As he walks. The bases are loaded. Now a ball, a walk ends this baseball game. A wild pitch ends this baseball game. Basically anything put in play ends this ball game. I just, told, I just told him before he leave, we could just catch a quick picture with him before he leaves so we can post on the game day page. Just tell him to come now. Trey Gates takes the first pitch in there for a strike. As he's been throwing a lot of balls here, he's definitely he definitely couldn't afford to get behind another batter with nowhere to put him at on base. Oh, one pitch. Good rip at a fastball, strike two. Their infield is still in. Their infield is still in, so Trey is definitely looking to get a good bat on the ball Ooh, here. I am so nervous for this yeah. young man. What a spot. 0-2 pitch now, one out, bases loaded here in the bottom of the ninth. Outside. Did you, did you get it? Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. <laughs> it's too much, man. All right, 1-2 pitch here. Cox to Trey Gates. Just about any outcome other than a strikeout is a good one for the Lobos. Oh, good job laying off of a curveball away. Two and two. I mean, he laid off of it too, because man, he wanted to go. He wanted to go before at that time. Big time at bat here from Trey. Number nine hole hitter Jose Ariano waits on deck. Here we go. Here we go. Two two pitch to Gates. Swung on, put in play. We got him coming home. Yeah! Yes! Yes! The Lobos win! win! The Lobos oh, win! The Lobos yes! win! The Lobos <laughs> win! That's oh my goodness! <laughs> Heck of a game there by the oh Lobos. Oh my God! As we was able to come back and win the game. Heck of a game there by the Lobos. And Hallsville, they are looking, man. They don't know what to do right now. They can't believe that they lost the game. Love you. We still game one. I can't even speak. Yes. I'm out here pushing buttons. My scores are bouncing all over the uh, screen. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Love you has stolen game one Absolutely. from arch rival Hallsville. All we have to do is win one of two on Saturday. Keaton to advance yes, to the sir. regional semifinals. Unbelievable baseball game. Unbelievable stream. Yes. And I'm not gonna lie to you, folks. If you watch from Hallsville, your kids put up a great effort. Heck but of a play. enjoy Heck that of a play. ride home. 
Uh, we will see you bright and early Saturday morning. Absolutely. I'm going to stick around for just a minute to give a couple shout-outs. Thank you to Noble Roofing or Chevrolet GMC Cadillac. Um, RJ Trailers, Godarzy and Young, Juicy's Taco, and most importantly, Emily Ramey of Sig Ramey Insurance. We appreciate your help, your support. The Lobos win game one. Yes. Three hours into the stream on the nose. Yes. We will see you guys Saturday morning. We can't stream it because of the lack of the internet there, but we'll handle it like we have been the last few playoffs games. We'll Me and keeping the dugout yep. with, a, with a computer. Getting highlights out. Unbelievable Absolutely. night here at Lobo Stadium. Um, Keaton, go do your thing, man. You're about to have some fun. You've been watching Lobo Playoff Baseball live on Longview Game Day. Go 